Hello, everybody. Oh, that's... All right. Hey, how's it going? Live stream fun. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Uh, I'm Rob. This is Rob's Gaming Table. For those who are new here, maybe found this on YouTube in the future, uh, I'm live streaming, and there's a load of awesome people in the live chat. Welcome, everybody. Uh, and today, we're going to be taking a look at Terraforming Mars, and we're going to be looking at it solo, specifically. Hey, Adam's here. Sakabra's saying, I have lots of willpower waiting on that trove chest stream. Because uh, I assumed I wasn't getting that trove chest for a long time. And then it shows up. And it's like, I already have stuff scheduled. So I've gotten used to that. Like, I have board games that, you know, spend hundreds of dollars that sit there and stare at me for days. And I used to be one where, like, when a big game or something exciting dropped on my doorstep, I, I throw everything to the side and play it. But with YouTube and scheduling and, like, I have to learn stuff before I play it, practice games before I stream them, my schedule's pretty full when that trove chest surprisingly showed up out of nowhere. Uh, so we'll be streaming that live tomorrow for those who are Too Many Bones fans or just want to come and hang out. Like, it's literally going to be the most chill stream scheduled for tomorrow uh, where we're basically unboxing a storage solution for the game Too Many Bones that's official, made by the company Chip Theory Games. And we're just going to be unboxing it assembling it putting all the comp all the 8000 pounds of components inside of it organizing it how I want to organize it or how you guys recommend those who've already done it I'm just going to do that live and it'll just be a super long I'm assuming chill live stream where we just put everything in there so it should be fun um but those who are here for terraforming mars welcome welcome but that's what's happening tomorrow uh but today it's all terraforming mars we're going to play a solo playthrough uh oh the back of the chair looks like it's my hair <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, but yeah oh adam wants to know some some behind the scenes secrets so he, he, he's basically want to know how i'm breathing right now on the surface of mars sitting in my gaming chair with no spacesuit no breathing apparatus uh i'm actually inside the space station uh, this is a super clean window behind me. Uh, we just cleaned it. We have to use special NASA chemicals. Uh, so there's no streaks or anything in space. It's very weird. Um, but inside, uh, and I'm bolted down on my gaming chair actually um, to the space station. So that's why I'm not floating around. Uh, so we're just looking outside of the space station right now, uh, just above. We're a little uh, up above uh, Mars, kind of kind of zoomed in there. Uh, so it kind of makes this nice effect, but... Uh, Hopefully you don't see any of my uh, buddies come flying by uh, in their, in, you know, getting ready to go outside or anything, you know, going to their rooms through the space station here. But uh, that's the behind the scenes secrets. But uh, hopefully, hopefully they don't interrupt the stream uh, floating by. We'll see. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't have the digital game of Terraforming Mars. Uh, my history with Terraforming Mars... <laughs> Uh, I poked jabs at this game ever since I saw it originally. I think it was Gen Con the first year. There was buzz around it. Uh, I saw it and kind of threw up in my mouth a little bit and kept walking uh, because the game's ugly. This is uh, designed by Jacob Frixilius, I think is how you say it. His name is on the screen. Uh, but the graphic design is done by a sixth grade class uh, where they put the game together. They went on Google Images found a bunch of art and you know they use some they use Windows 95 and like Photoshop 3 uh, to put together the graphic design of this game uh, and Stonemaier games or no not Stonemaier Stronghold games use the most thickest cardstock best quality components you could ever find best cubes with the paint that falls off you know after two games so good quality such good graphic design uh, I crap all over that. I, I, th I think this game is ugly. I think that it's cheap. I think it's overpriced uh, for the components that are included. Uh, but the gameplay is solid. The, the design of it is great. I can see why people love it. It's rated very high. But I very rarely someone will argue with me that the game is not ugly. Sitting on the table, it does not catch anyone's eye. It's, it's, I'm afraid to bring it to certain uh, 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 players in my game group's uh, tables. Because I think just the theme and the look of it's just gonna, they're gonna think like, what, why? After all the beautiful games I've, I've brought in front of them and shown them that are in modern board gaming, this is a game I'm kind of embarrassed to like show somebody that maybe is like not heavy into the hobby. But those who are hardcore into the hobby of modern board gaming, they know about Terraforming Mars. A lot of you guys in the chat and gals, you guys know all about this game. Uh, yeah, it is uh, number four. Number four. 
ranked board game of all board games like i mean all board games we're talking monopolies and risks and and life and all this and trivial pursuit all those board games that that mainstream know growing up as kids generations know all like hundred thousand board games in the database on boardgamegeek.com for those hardcore people who go in and, and add their collections rate games give them rankings out of all the people who are very like in the know uh have got this game up to rank four overall like out of every board game that ever exists this right now is supposed to be the fourth best board game ever made mm -hmm. uh i don't know if that's true i don't know if i agree with that completely uh but it's a good game it's good definitely good um uh, but like man i put a lot more into my rankings uh there's got to be some quality to it too and I, I feel like that's where it's heavily lacking and i don't feel like the gameplay is that like next level maybe with expansions and stuff maybe that's what's boosted it up i only own the core set um but i do have fun playing this game i, I knock on it i make fun of it uh but yeah that's just me having fun with it but i didn't buy this game for years just based on the looks because there's other games that do engine building and they look nice um and the theme of terraforming mars being in space that like i said on my q a this week space games are not really my thing they don't draw me in i'm a fantasy guy or i like themes like i don't know it's weird i, I like more like realistic themes uh and then fantasy so like i don't know games like police and and that kind of stuff and military kind of games fantasy in there that kind of stuff but the space theme i have a few games but it's just not something it's like i would say star wars is like really the only space sea stuff i'm not a star trek guy or anything like that um so just the theme it, it's like not in the top level so like whenever i'm looking like a game like this i would basically just scroll down and be like oh okay this game's rated very high uh what are other people playing oh scythe love the theme of that i'll buy that game oh viticulture winemaking yeah i like that theme better than space i'll check out that one uh feast for odin viking sure the ages civilization yeah why not wild west great western trail sure all these games i would put in my collection and some of them i have way before i would touch terraforming mars but basically the reason why it's in my collection is because it's ranked so high here but also the 200 uh top solo games ranked on the one player guild on board game geek this year uh and the last even last year's and the year before this game is ranked number three of all solo games among uh, 600-ish solo players. This is another reason why it's in my collection, because I was like, okay, I got to try this. But I didn't play this solo until like two days ago, so that's why it's not on my... It never had even a chance of making my top solo games list that I did earlier this year. But when I refresh it, uh, I guess next year, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, maybe I'll get some expansions and we'll try that out. Because I don't know if it's just based on the solo game everyone loves it solo, or if it's because of the expansions. I'm not sure. But let me check the chat here. <clears throat> uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. How do you really feel about it since the cover? <laughs> oh, I'll tell you. I'm honest here on this channel. I'm not going to fluff it. It's like, yeah, I could tell corners were cut in the production of this game. Uh, and it, yet yeah, it's still priced at games it's still priced around the price of scythe that like you guys know the components in scythe and the amount of stuff you get in there the quality of everything in that box and it, it's like in that price range right so it's like uh like the cards in scythe have thicker stock than the box for this game uh and the board um that's how i feel <laughs> but anyways uh yeah so after that though we're gonna get into gameplay here all right just trying to scroll through the chat Warming up for the ramps, the, the ramps tree. Yep, Steve Bonacore of Stronghold Games managed to retire on the back of sales of this game. Well, yeah, you make mad profit if you're selling people three dollars worth of paper uh, and, and cubes uh, and charging them like 60, 70 bucks. Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> and some thin ass cards. Lots of cards, lots of cards, but thin ass cards. Uh, let's see, big upgrade, big upgrade coming. Components will be ex uh, exponentially better. Yeah, at a cost though. Uh, card art may still suck though. <laughs> you tricked us. This is really his rant video. 
<laughs> no, I'm going to play the game. This is just for those who don't know about this game. And I know there's very few that probably watch this channel or may find this channel uh, that know about this game. But I just wanted to show you. I may make fun of it. I may rip on it. But it's ranked number three solo game on Board Game Geek. Number four all time of every board game ever made. So there's something there. I may knock it. I give my own opinion. But this may be your favorite game. This may be like perfect for you. And there are the fans that love it. And I'm not going to rip on you. I just rip on like the gameplay is tight and I see why. And I played a multiplayer. I only started playing it solo this week. I played twice. I like it. I like it a lot. Solo tip. Don't be afraid to use standard projects. Uh, agreed. <laughs> agreed. And I will, I will appreciate the help today. Uh, so those who really know the game and really know the strategy of the base set, like I don't have any expansions. I'm not, I haven't been playing this for years like some people. But feel free to help me out. Choose my uh, corporation at the beginning. Help me choose uh, my cards. Uh, we'll go through a, a playthrough kind of together because I'm still learning. Uh, I've won both those solo games, but I don't think it was like amazing scores or anything. Uh, it felt like I just kind of squeaked out the win like in the last or second to last round. I got all of the uh, global parameters up. And then kind of just squeaked out a couple extra points at the end. Uh, but I, I feel like my strategy needs work. Because uh, I don't know all the cards in this game. I, I don't know all the possible strategies. I've only seen a couple corporations so far playing the game. I haven't read through them all. Uh, so I don't even know what's possible in this deck. I like the surprise aspect of it. But I know there's people who've played it so much. You know all the cards. You know the odds of seeing certain things. You know the best strategies to get the best point. I don't know any of that stuff. So we're just going to have fun doing it random here. Uh, and with your guys' help. So it should be good. You Canadians rant? Surely that's impolite. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, sorry. Sorry. Sorry about that, eh? Sorry about, uh, sorry about that, eh? Uh. <laughs> Gabra agrees. It's 100% true. The price to components ratio is outrageous in Terraform Mars. I agree. I was shocked at the price of the game. I opened it up and just the only, like, it's not a lot of components either. And then the, the stock of all of it, it's like, I felt like I was buying a game from Walmart, like that kind of stock. It was kind of weird that it's, but I don't know Stronghold games that well. I've never played any other games from Stronghold games. I don't know if that's something Mr. Bonacore was doing. Is like, let's just sell. Can you get those cards thinner? We need to eke out every penny of profit we can. Like, I don't know. And then I know you can get bootleg versions of the game uh, on Amazon. It's like a thing. This is one of the games that's like as uh, pirated versions. That's supposedly even worse. <laughs> so like, they have to include a card in the base game to to kind of prove it's not a a uh, um. A pirated version so it's like it's bad if you can't if, if you're if the pirates you know can make the game exactly the poor quality of the original game that you have to actually include a component to help you tell if you got a pirated version uh that's kind of sad at least some games that are pirated you can tell because right away the components are like poor quality the cards are bad stock and all that stuff um but i thought that was funny <laughs> um uh yeah jim i saw i saw your tip there about pandemic uh I'll uh, definitely bring that up in the next stream on Saturday if, if we remember. But I agree. I agree. Uh... Also, Jim, when you're watching those playthroughs, any playthrough, uh, even during the series, anyone who watches one of our campaign series and, and can't watch it live, uh, drop comments on the video. Because usually before while we're sitting down kind of setting up for the stream, I go through the comments of the previous video and kind of read them to see if there's anything that was pointed out so we can fix it. So, Jim, any time a thought like that pops in your head and you're watching the video, just slap it in the comments, uh, especially if it's an ongoing playthrough, because uh, that'll definitely help us out for the next video, even if you can't be there or anything. Um, but I do appreciate the tips. I appreciate the help. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. So let's, uh, let's get down to the table here. All right. Uh, let's see. Head, get my head back. So Edgar is saying, uh, the game that looks like Terraforming Mars and gameplay is better is Beyond the Sun by Rio Grande Games. Belko saying, so you basically can print this in. Belko, uh, the thing is a lot of players, I think, who just want to play this game uh, nowadays, uh, especially solo, you can play it digitally. If, if you're okay playing digital versions of games, if you want to feel the components, like obviously the physical is your own choice. Um, but supposedly the app is pretty good. I'm thinking about grabbing it at some point, next time I see it on sale or whatever. Uh, and I'll play it on the channel solo too, but I see that's the most people's preferred way of playing it nowadays. I'm kind of late to the party on this game, like I said. I only got it this year. 
I believe. Maybe it was late last year. I can't remember, but uh, I only cracked it out this year, I think. Um, and like I said, solo, I only started playing two days ago, learned the solo, played one solo game. Yesterday I played a solo game. Uh, and here is my third solo game. Um, but there is a solo version, so I don't know the price compared to the physical, but it's probably cheaper. So if you just want to dabble with it, um, you do that. Um, Atuja's asking about the card holder. This is from eRaptor. This is the one we use in a bunch of our streams. eRaptor reached out to us uh, and basically said, you want any like you know products that'll help with your streams and stuff? Uh, not paid to promote it or anything. They're just nice enough to send us over a bunch of stuff. Uh, so I went in their store and picked a few things. Uh, but I really do love this thing. Uh, it works great for games where it can hold all the cards. And believe it or not, all of the cards, not sleeved, not sleeved. Obviously, if you're sleeving, it won't fit. Um, but this does handle Terraforming Mars. It's it's very tall, and it works. But it is from E-Raptor. Uh, and it's like plastic. It's hard plastic. Uh, it is, yeah, it is solid. Um, but we use it in a bunch of our games. Kind of want to get another one. Um... But yeah, this is the one we use. We're using it in our Pandemic Legacy playthrough right now. It does hold sleeve cards. We have played another playthrough series where sleeve cards do fit. Uh, you can see there is room around it. There is room around it if you can kind of see in between the card and the wall there. Uh, it does fit sleeve cards pretty tight. It does have lots of room above though. So because you know a lot of card sleeves kind of, they have a, a they're kind of taller than the cards usually. But width, it does have room in there for sleeve cards and we do use that. It's a little tight. I think uh, Root, maybe Root was the one we're using sleeve cards for. Uh, if you go check out our root playthrough, one of our last root playthroughs, you'll see it in use with sleeved cards. And, and we're taking cards out, we're throwing cards in. It's a little tight, but it, it holds them solid. Uh, so you don't accidentally see anything, you know, if, if your cards were, I guess, in the discard pile. But I guess it doesn't matter when they're face down. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm using. Uh, it helps make sure I don't knock over it. And it's great for this game without sleeves because uh, this is a huge pile of cards. Uh, it's tall. It's like... 200-ish cards or 190 cards or something crazy like that. I don't know the exact number, but it's in that range. Uh, and it keeps it from me bumping it and falling over on stream or anything like that. Uh, the other thing I don't like about the game uh, is because there's so many cards. It's cool for play gameplay, but for setup, if you're shuffling this thing like the way I shuffle the pile shuffles, I like it's such a huge stack of cards, and I can only imagine sleeved. It gets even crazier. Is you have to like set up an extra hour before the game just to do shuffling. Uh, so we will do some shuffling so you guys don't think I stack the deck here. Um, and I have like a gag gift uh, that we got before. Uh, this off like eBay or something was like super cheap. Uh, <laughs> but it's an electronic card shuffler. And I thought of it when I was setting up for the stream. Uh, I hope the batteries still work. And it's super loud. That's why I never use it on stream, because it is so loud. Well, hopefully that's not blowing anyone's ears out. I'm sorry. But if you don't make the stacks perfectly equal, uh, it, you're going to have cards sitting on one side uh, after it's done shuffle. Look at, look at, they can't even fit in here. Already it's full. So now I have to take these out. And... <laughs> Yeah, Paul, I'm killing time here by using a funny shuffler just so you can show up uh, and not miss anything. <laughs> it's super loud. Yeah, see, I, it, yeah, like it, it's it only it's for like normal cards, obviously, uh, but these fit. So I just had it's kind of funny. I saw it sitting over there. I was like, I'll try it out on stream. But anyways, yeah. So we're just gonna do some shuffling. I don't want to shuffle the whole thing. Uh, it'll fall all over, and if I pile shuffle, we'll be here for another 15-20 minutes, so uh, there it is. Okay, that's our deck. All right. <laughs> I don't know how loud that was for you guys, but uh, hopefully it wasn't that bad. <laughs> oh my god. Now make a chip shuffle for too many bones. I wish I had something like that for too many bones. As seen in all reputable Las Vegas casinos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, start getting set up. Oh, there's, uh, let me just check. Uh, make sure I did all this stuff for setup. Uh, let's see, let's see. Um, okay, where is it? Step one. Uh, if you own our crappy thin... Uh, player boards where if a player sneezes at the table your entire game is ruined uh immediately go to board game geek store order our official 
dual layer thick cardboard versions uh, and play with those instead and tear up the player board you're currently playing with because it's trash. Oh, okay, no problem, no problem. All right, let's just uh, let's do that. Okay, yep, let's just do that. All right, done. Okay, uh, so that's done. And then we got this, okay. So we're gonna use this so our cubes aren't flying all around. Uh, this is what I was waiting for before I played the game solo. Uh, we got it a few months ago. Order the Montboard Game Geek. All right, so we're gonna throw that in there. And we're gonna throw our cubes uh, on the zero space of all of our resource tracks. And this way, when I bump the table, we don't lose. <laughs> I wanted to do that for so long. All right, anyways. <laughs> Legacy version, yeah. I was trying to think of a funny way of like hiding these in a box and being like, oh, unlock box number one, and you've got this. Yeah, yeah. Tear the new board, I dare you. Maybe at the end of the stream I'll tear this board. I'm just kidding. I want to play the game, it's still fun solo, for sure. Mars Legacy. I am surprised there is not a Mars Legacy. They come out with a new expansion every like 20 minutes. Uh, I, the game's only three years old and there's already like five expansions. Uh, but yeah, I am surprised. All right, so we'll randomize. We get two. Um, we get two corporations. Six and six. I got a D twelve. We'll go one all the way to twelve here, and we'll take four and ten. Okay. And then you guys, we get to look at our cards, uh, so we don't need these anymore. Then we're gonna draw 10 cards. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I gotta make sure I do all the setup for real. I don't remember everything. Um, <laughs> I do have it open here. And there's solo, there are some differences which we can go over for those who've never played the game solo. And I know there are some people here who don't have this game period I've seen in the chat and some who've never played it solo or haven't played it period that want to play it maybe just for a solo game. And it, like I said, it's ranked number three for the last three years out of all games that exist by 600 plus uh, solo players over on the Board Game Geek Guild. Um, Yogi Bear tore up the Etherfields board. Yeah, understood, understood. I know what you mean. Play on the other side of the board is expert mode, the black, the black side, like the abyss. You just have, you can't, you can't place anything on the board. It's just playing cards. Uh, I don't know why I'm shuffling all this. All right, so let's. Uh, so we got some events. I forget the name of the green cards, but they have a name. And the blue cards are like kind of abilities that just stick around. So green cards are kind of like you pay a cost, you play them, you get some effect, but they stay out because. They have these little things called tags in the top corner, which can combo off and create engines and help you, you know, play other cards that have restrictions that maybe need a, uh, like a Jovian tag or a space tag uh, in play. You may need like two space tags to play a card if you don't have those out. Uh, as you play these green cards, you kind of just keep them like this because you only care about the tags in the top corner. So um, that's what those are. These are these green cards, you play them, you could get uh, extra uh, resources uh, given to you. You could you could build up your engine of resources, your uh, your resource generation. I get. Uh, but yeah, the game looks bad. I know, I know, I know, I know. We're done. We'll, we'll stop talking about that. We'll just keep playing at this point. I did my rant. I killed time for Paul to show up. Uh, we're here. <laughs> Can you spread the cards out so we see the tags. I, I will in a sec. I will in a sec. Uh, so then these are what what we call events. Uh, they're just played one time. You get the ability, so you pay like 15 for this one, Convoy from Europa. You get to place an ocean tile, get a card, and then you flip it face down to the end of the game, where then you look at them if they have points on them and you get the points. Uh, that's my understanding. Uh, so those are our two events we just drew. Then we have these cards. Uh, they're like kind of like ongoing cards. But when you put these ones in a pile uh, in front of you, once you pay for them, you put them down, and you need to see this top ability. Uh, because you may get to do the ability once per round, or it may be something that's like ongoing, where like this one... Uh, says each each titanium you have is worth one mega credit extra and then this one says each steel you have is worth one extra steel so if we're going with uh, like using steel and uh, to build buildings and uh, titanium to build space spacey cards or pay for spacey cards um, that will help us uh, reduce that cost and then this one is something about like 
Thacteria, which is like another little thing you can get points from. And all the cards, I like this, all the cards like explain in brackets on them uh, what is needed. This one requires four oxygen to even play it. Uh, and we should probably look at the global parameters for those that don't know. Go global parameters, so uh, in solo, we can totally ignore these little two uh, gray areas at the bottom of the board. This is for multiplayer only. Uh, it's about like, basically like in any kind of engine building game, um, there is like an aspect of who has the most this gets points, who has the most that gets points. Uh, that's what these milestones and awards are. We totally ignore these milestones and awards. Okay, they're not even there. We can cover them up. But, but, there's three global parameters. We have 14 rounds. Okay, we're going to put one of our little player cubes on 14. Uh, we have, this is like the round track for a generation, is what they're called, not rounds, or generations. Uh, we start at one. We will play 14 rounds no matter what. 14 generations, no matter what. The game ends at the end of the 14th generation. We lose if we have not got the global parameters of temperature all the way up to the top, oxygen all the way up to the top, and all nine of these ocean tiles out on the board, okay? So we have to, you know, get the uh, water level to a certain amount on Mars. We have to get the oxygen in the atmosphere up to a certain amount and the temperature of the planet, I guess, to make it habitable. And normally in multiplayer, you're a bunch of corporations all competing to who can basically do it the best, get the most points and that kind of stuff. But in solo, we're literally, by 14 rounds, have to get it to the top of these two and get all nine of these tiles onto the board. If we do, we win, and then you total up your points at the very end. So we could have done that before the end of 14 rounds, but you still play your 14 rounds and then you total up all your points at the end. Um, and doing these things, the earlier you do them, the more points you'll get and the more money you'll get based on that. So doing things early can pay off over rounds. We only have 14 rounds, remember. Uh, so you can get super mathy with it where you can see like, oh, we're on round eight. If I play this card now and it happens this many times, I will get this much money, yada, yada. I don't care about any of that stuff. I don't care. I like to just play, try to do efficient moves, not look at the overall of the game. Just try to race these tracks up and win. See if I can do that. And then try to try to finesse some points at the end if we can. But I'm okay with some help. If you guys want to throw some things at us here uh, to try to build some combos you know of or whatever but i find with this game having like 200 cards uh you sometimes you won't see card like you only get through like 30 percent of the cards i found uh playing solo so that, that adds like lots of replayability over and over again uh where you see the cards come up uh some come up and and based on your faction too you may pick a corporation these are our two corporations we got i don't know if certain ones are better for solo uh, but you don't just look at these, uh, like Wingspan, you look at like all the cards from setup and you choose. And for every one of these cards we keep, we have to pay three mega credits, which is the currency of the game. And these are all the little like currencies you have to manage. So you have mega credits, which are like the basic economy of the game. They let you, you can spend those to play cards and do actions and stuff. This is a uh, steel, which can reduce the cost of cards with this building tag. Uh, because one steel is actually worth two mega credits when spent towards cards with this symbol. Space, same kind of idea, except for it's with the space symbol, it's worth three. So if you can get some uh, titanium going, instead of spending regular mega, uh, mega credits, you can spend a mix of mega credits and titanium to save you some cost. Um, you get more bang for your buck, obviously. Uh, then we have plants. Uh, which helps us put plant tiles on the board. Uh, if we can, for every, this is an action we can do on our turn, is every eight plants we spend that are in this section, we can put a plant on the board, uh, and we put one of these tiles out, and they're worth one victory point at the end of the game. They also help cities, which we also can put out, which are on the other side. Okay, for every uh, plant tile that's beside a city, uh, basically adds one victory point to the city. Cities are worth zero victory points, unless you have a... Uh, whatever these are, forest or plant tiles, or I don't know what they're called. Greenery tiles, maybe. I think that's what they're called. Uh, so if you had six greenery tiles around a city, that city is worth six victory points. And then you get one victory point for each greenery tile you own. Uh, the greenery tiles around the city don't have to be your own. They don't have to be your own. Um, but it does cost eight to put them out. Or there's standard projects all along here, which you can do a lot of these things uh, by spending like, like kind of like a overpriced version of doing it. They're usually in cards or engines or abilities. You have ways of usually making some of these things cheaper. Uh, and then here you have uh, energy. 
uh, which you can convert into heat at the end of every round, it automatically converts into heat. But then there's an action here. Uh, you can spend eight heat to raise the temperature like one step on here. That's how you raise the temperature. Okay. Uh, but every round you can generate resources. So mega credits, uh, we are starting out at uh, 14. Terraform rating is what this track is on the outside of the board, basically victory points. But every round we get the amount of money equal to our terraform rating plus a modifier here. So if we're up or negative, uh, we will add that to it. And then uh, if you have like, let's say we generate titanium every round, you'll do like a production phase where if this is at a three, we'll get three more titanium or three more uh, steel, steel. Uh, same thing with titanium. That's what these little like brown backed areas are. And you have it for plants, you have it for heat, uh, sorry, energy, and you have it for heat. So right now we're gonna start at zero uh, on all this stuff, unless our corporation that we choose modifies it. Um, so if you get, uh, if you get how it's going, so if we can generate energy, it automatically converts to heat. We use heat to raise the temperature. Uh, plants is the main way of getting oxygen to go up. So as we place plant tiles, it will increase oxygen. And then to get ocean tiles on the board is usually off card abilities, but there is also the aquifier way to get oceans. You can also pay 23 credits to get plants, 18 for oceans, 14 to heat up the planet, one step. Uh, we can spend 11 to increase our energy production. So we could spend 11 to move this cube here to start generating energy every round. Um, or we can also just sell cards that we don't like that we can't play. Uh, for every card, you can sell it for one mega credit. So you could take that action, get rid of like five cards if you wanted to take five mega credits. But the problem is, is you're spending usually like three mega credits a card. So when you're buying cards, you kind of want to make sure you're buying ones you can play. But sometimes you have abilities that draw you cards and maybe you get junk that you don't want to use. Doesn't work with your engine. Is it worth it late in the game or something like that? You might want to sell it off to get mega credits. Also for 25, you could build a city uh, and increase your mega credit production by one. So these are the standard actions. Uh, they're very important in solo because you you need you need to do them. I, I haven't played I played only twice, but uh, man, you have to, especially late in the game. You sometimes just don't have a way to get oceans out throughout your engine and stuff, so you just have to pay 18 to do it. Sometimes you can find cards that discount these, uh, which is helpful. But we'll see what we get. And that's the fun of playing. You you sometimes maybe had a card one game that helped you out a ton, get tons of points, and then you just don't see it for the next 10 times you play. The deck's huge, and you, like I said, you only see like a third of it. Uh, unless you have some ability that's letting you rip through cards, look at the five on the deck and pick one and that kind of stuff. There are abilities like that in the game. Uh, okay. I know I maybe, maybe didn't explain it the best, but uh, there's also bonuses when we place tiles on the board. You can get extra plants that go here. You can get extra titanium goes here. You can get draw cards by placing tiles on the board. Uh, certain spots on the board. Uh, only water can go there. That's these blue spaces. So nothing else can go there but oceans. Uh, there's certain spots that are named cities that only cities from specific cards in the deck will go there. But normally you can put a city wherever. If you put a plant tile, it has to go adjacent to a tile you already own. Unless there's no possible space to do that, then you can put it anywhere. Um, and a city can't go beside another city. So one thing we should do actually as part of setup, we should uh, put out the um, first four... Uh, I know I'm doing this kind of out of order, but we will draw four cards off the deck. And this will help us with our initial setup of our kind of like dummy player. Uh, all it is is they sit there. You can basically assume there's a player at the board and do whatever to them. But they put out like four tiles at the beginning of the game. Uh, so 12, what we do is our first city tile uh, is a 12. We count one. And so the legal positions, reading order, top left. We start counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This is where our first city goes. And correct me if I'm wrong on any of this stuff. I'm not a pro. Um, but hopefully this gets it across for those who maybe don't know about Terraforming Mars uh, and how clever it is. Uh, hopefully this play will give some of that away at least. Um, even if I goof up some stuff. Uh, uh, Brian, no. This is... Uh, yeah, oh yeah. You guys are answering it. Okay. Even lift the player mat now. And yeah, greenery tiles raise the oxygen, oxygen level. So when you place these greenery tiles down, I could get a plant for putting it here, for example. Uh, so I would get a plant resource. Uh, and sorry, th these copper cubes, uh, they're smaller. They are worth one. 
So wherever you put them, they count as one. Uh, the silver, slightly larger cubes are worth five. And the big, huge gold cubes, uh, they all look like Christmas ornaments to me. It's like perfect time to be playing this. Um, the big gold ones count as ten. So you get to, it's like cube filled game. Another thing I avoided when I first got into board gaming, I didn't want to buy any game that had cubes. I thought it was a cop out, but, uh, and this is kind of fun. Better than playing with like a pile of coins and stuff. The, the, coins don't seem to fit the theme, but, um, the cubes do okay job. Let's see. Uh, Adam agreed. I, I agreed. I was going to do that for sure. I'm only putting cubes. That's why I have these four red cubes here. Uh, I'm putting these on the tiles that we set up for the dummy player, and then we're not putting cubes on any of our tiles. I don't bother. There's no point. Because you just know any tile without a cube is one you own, but you do need to know which ones you don't own, at least in this. But when you're playing multiplayer, every one of these tiles has a, a, a spot for a cube to show who owns it. Uh, not the oceans, but cities and, and uh, these... These tiles are custom. They're from different cards you may see in your game and may play, um, but they all have special little abilities. Whoop! Special little abilities uh, that you may put on the board, but you have to show if you own it by putting one of your cubes on it. Uh, but we, we don't care in this one. Since we're playing solo, we just know these four setup tiles we're going to do uh, or the other player. So this is our city uh, of the dummy player. We're just going to put a red cube on it so that we know it's not ours. Okay? So we won't score it at the end of the game as we're getting points. Uh, then around the outside of it, we use... Oh, sorry, we got to get the second city, right? Uh, so from down in the bottom right, we're going to count 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So this is where the second city goes. And then there's something where, like, we got a 4 here. So we start with the top left hex here. We go 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we put a plant that is owned by the dummy player, a greenery tile, sorry. That's going to be right there. And then this one, same thing. We got a four. Weird. One, two, three, four. So we have a plant going here. And these are just dummy ones that are part of setup. So this, may, this knowledge may influence what cards we grab also. I, I don't know if they do, but it is information. And in a game, you want to know as much information as possible when making choices, um, which I should have done that first uh, with the first four cards. And then these cards just get discarded. Okay, you just you set them up and then these cards are out of the game. So technically, uh, this is known information because you do this before you draw your cards. So for those out there who know the cards of the game, there may be a card here, and I, again, I don't know, uh, but there may be a card here that totally tanks a strategy for one of our factions that because the card is gone and possibly not in play or a couple of the cards, maybe we don't want to go that route. We don't want to pick that corporation. We don't want to you know, try to build our engine that way. So I'm going to throw those away. They're face down in the discard pile. You never have a face-up discard pile. You can't look through it. Um, oh, <laughs> Sesame Street. I get it now, Scott, I get it when I was counting. Yeah, it feels weird when you draw a card that's like 31 credits and you're counting around this thing like 31 times. It feels stupid. There, there had to be a better way. But um, anyways. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, anyways. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Uh, now it's in your head. It, I learned for playing solo. Yeah, okay, we got that. All right. Uh, okay, so our corporations. Let's take a look. We got credit core. So you start with 57 mega credits. So there, this is custom. Uh, there are beginner corporations, which are here in this baggie. Uh, there are beginner corporations you can give to a new player at the table, or you can play with if you want simplicity, where you start off with 42 mega credits, and you get to keep all 10 of those, those cards, those project cards, or whatever they're called, uh, that you, you just get to keep them. Okay? You just, that's, and you start. That's super simple. It's less to worry about. You don't have to remember, and I'm sure there's experienced players who just play with that, that corporation and don't like the randomness. But I do like the randomness of picking from the 12 factions. You get two, and you have to choose one. So credit core, 57 mega credits we start with. But again, we have to spend three mega credits for any cards we keep. Okay. Any cards we keep. Okay. Um, so 57. And then you have an ability here that's an ongoing ability. It says right underneath it, after you pay for a card or standard project. And standard projects are these ones over here. Okay, standard projects. Um, with a basic cost of 20 mega credits or more, you gain four. So it's like... 
as long as you can spend the money for it. So it's not like a four discount. You actually have to, it's like a four refund. You get four mega credits back after you spend the full cost. So if we build a city for 25, uh, we spend the 25 off of our resources, and then we would get four back, which that seems very like just straightforward, money's good. I get it, it's credit core, it's like a bank, they're all focused on the money, okay? Cool beans. I have a feeling that one's probably pretty popular. Hey, Paul. Uh, then we have Inventrix is our other one we can choose from. So this one says, as your first action in the game, you draw three cards and you start, so we're not yet, we're not drawing these three yet. It's after we've chosen all our cards. We get three free cards, which is nice because that's like nine mega credits. Yes, they could be junk, but we can sell them. So really it's like three mega credits because we could sell them away if they're junk and get three mega credits. So it's kind of like, if worst case scenario, we're looking at this as like 48 mega credits you're starting with. Uh, then the effect though, uh, is your temperature, oxygen, OSHA requirements are plus two or minus two, your choice for each case. So for example, we, if we took this card, we can't play it until the oxygen level is at 12%. That means it won't be till like round 12-ish or later or a little bit earlier, something like that. Cause like, unless there's ways to get this oxygen up faster, based on my two plays, it feels like that's not till like round 12-ish out of our 14. So if I bought this card right now, I'd be sitting on this card for like the whole game might be really stupid. But with this faction, it says I can basically just raise this requirement or lower it by two steps. So instead of 12 on this case, I could lower it to 10. Loxen Bono, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate the support. Uh, so that's what you can do. Or, or, uh, oops, you can raise it um, if it was, I don't have any other good examples, like minimums. Actually, the temperature one here for farming. Uh, needs to be four degrees Celsius, which is super late in the game. Four degrees all the way up here. So in multiplayer, you have maybe four, five, three players all trying to raise these together and racing on them. So they get up faster. They, they fly up faster, right? But in uh, solo, it's all on you. So it takes forever to get these up, at least with my newbie skill, for sure. My newbie skill. Uh, Joseph's here from Board Game of Nirma saying, great to finally see you playing a top game, Rob. A winky face, get the hell. That's it. That's it. I'm banning him. No, I'm just joking. Uh, have fun. Don't buy too many cards. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. Uh, also, Prelude is awesome. Yeah, I don't, I, I like it. Like I said, I've, all, I've only played this game like multiplayer two or three times. Only at the core set and only played solo twice this week. I've never played before that. So I'm still new to it. I'm still enjoying this base set. I don't feel like I need expansions yet. I don't feel like I have a group that constantly plays this over and over again. If I was playing it solo a ton, I'd probably invest more in the digital space. And I don't know if the digital space has expansions yet, but that's probably where I would go. Because it's just easier to set it up and get into it. Um, but Joseph, you'd know more about that, right? Uh, with the digital version. I've seen you playing that on your channel before. Now Velko is asking, researching on this game, I found that Prelude expansion is essential. Any game experience, any experience, how it improves the game. So I'm being told take Inventrix is great for solo. I appreciate the tips. Okay. So maybe based on my rant, I just kind of answered myself too when I was talking about how uh, the restrictions on cards make it like things don't happen till late game. Uh, so this would increase the value of those cards because they might be getting uh, things going first. Man, I thought credit core. I was just going to take credit core as like loads of money. But I do see I have cards here that, that have like pretty late requirements. So maybe I take some of those. But I, I think in the first cards, I, I don't take anything I can't play in the next couple turns. At least that's why I've been playing. And I haven't lost yet. But again, like I said, my scores maybe aren't the greatest. I don't know. Uh, my first one, I got like 81 points. Second one, I got like 71 or 72 or something. I don't know how those are. I never looked up anyone's scores to know. Um, but all I'm trying to do is win the game. Like, make sure I don't lose by not getting the parameters up. And then the points after that is like, eh, whatever. So we'll see if we can win here. But I'm sure with your guys' assistance, we will uh, get like 200 points and crush it. Okay. Uh, so. Ventrix. So, based on the cards we have. 
What cards are you guys re recommending? Uh, let's look. So let's take a look through these green cards here. So these are the ones that are one-time plays. So we have a 41 cost card, which screams to me late game. But again, you could reduce the cost with titanium if you get it going. Uh, you get to increase your titanium production for 41, which is nuts. Uh, and your mega credit production, so every round you're getting more money. And at the end of the game, you get one point, one victory point for every Jovian tag you have, including this card, I believe. Uh, so that's like a cool card to have maybe work towards. And if we can fire it off early, I mean, is that worth spending like all of our starting money just to fire this off? To get titanium flowing? I don't know how many space cards are in the deck, if, that, if that's like an important thing. But increasing mega credit production is nice. So that's one card. 10 Mining Industries, I think, or IO Mining Industries. I don't know what it is based on the font. Uh, but we also have another Space and Jovian Tag card. 24 Callisto Pino Mines. Uh, you can increase your Mega Credit production by 3 and get 2 victory points at the end of the game if you plop this card down. So to me, this is like so far screaming like the Titanium is like priority. Titanium and Mega Credits. I, I just don't know how that gets our temperature going up other than using standard projects, which is lame. In the first game I played of this, I went crazy on the plant. I found a whole engine going on plant production. And uh, the, what was it? Plant production, and I think I did uh, steel. And it helped me build these buildings that, that helped me get the other ones going up. Uh, and then the second time I played, I went, I had a faction that totally helped me with energy cards, the purple ones. And I just made this huge engine of generating tons of energy and turning it into money and also turning into heat so the temperature was flying up. But I also had a card that let me spend three energy to buy an oxygen, which was like bananas. Uh, but that was fun last game. It didn't score the highest, but it was still fun to just like really narrowly focus on one thing and it still worked out. Um, okay, so we could also acquire company. Got a, like an earthy tag there. Uh, just straight up 10 for three mega credit production. That feels like a card I would buy. Like I spend three on it, then spend 10, and I just increase my mega credit production. So for 14 rounds, I'm getting three extra mega credits every round. So that seems like a really good investment, but I could be wrong. But that's a card I would take based on my newbie. Acquired company is a must. Okay, I appreciate it. When I see Joseph saying that's a card is a must, I feel good when I evaluate it very high. That's awesome. But again, I haven't seen all the cards in this game for sure. No way. Uh, too many, too many. Uh, 23. This one requires... See, I don't keep cards like this that require like 12 oxygen. Even if I take Inventrix, I feel like it would take way too long and I don't want to hold this card. And then if I'm investing 3 mega credits and sitting on it for 10 rounds, I could have spent that 3 mega credits on something else that maybe gave back something over those rounds. But I feel like this is like too late game. But again, it's a victory point, a city, some plants, some extra mega credit production. Maybe it's worth it if we take Inventrix. I don't know. I don't know. Pass on it? Okay, so let me put the pass stuff over here. Uh, and you guys are saying pass before for some of these. Okay. We also have farming. It needs 4 degrees Celsius, plus 4. So that's like all the way at the top too. Super annoying. Like, I don't take cards like this. Cards with restrictions, I, I throw them in the garbage. I don't even care. Unless I draw them late when the restriction's about to happen or I already have it. And I value it like, is it worth playing now to get that stuff? Maybe. But I don't want it to just sit in my hand forever. And then maybe never play it. Uh, but this one... Yeah, don't think I'll make the money up. We're worth playing to buy and play the card. Yeah, we're probably going to pass on this too, I think. But I just want to show you guys what the options are. Because maybe, maybe there's something here I'm not valuing right. And, and I'm not seeing what's there. And I don't know the rest of the cards, really. So, uh, again, I'm a newbie coming at this. But we're going to have some fun. Pass on farming. Unless you had an early path to a heat engine. Ah, uh, true. Yeah, because we could fire the heat up really fast. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And then mining rights, this is all focused on titanium and steel generation, uh, where steel can help make this cheaper. But again, if we don't have any steel, uh, then it doesn't matter. But we can get steel off the board by placing cards. But if we have no way to place stuff, or placing tiles, I mean. Late game cards should be avoided early. Okay, we're on the right path with that. Uh, okay, okay. All right, so any of these green cards are a must beside Acquired Company. So we have 10 Mining Industries. Um, I don't know if I can get closer here so you guys can. 
go like that for now. So let me know, I don't know, if there's anything here out of these cards, but uh, while you're thinking about that, here are the events. Envoy from Europa and Subterranean Reservoir. Uh, I like both of them because I don't see right now a way to place these for cheaper and like 11 to place an ocean, uh, well, plus three to buy the card, uh, an ocean's 18. So we can get a 14, uh, like a four mega credit reduction to place an ocean tile. That, that seems like, like just economy wise, that seems really good. I, I don't know. Because we need to get nine of them on the board to win the game even. If we don't get all nine out, we're screwed. So I look at that as like a four off coupon for an ocean. <laughs> and this one, it plays an ocean plus draws a card. So that I look at as one mega credit at least. But if that is an awesome card that helps us generate, this card has potential of being priceless, but at least it's a card we can just throw away for one mega credit. So the card is worth 14, plus we get to play this. So this is on the same level. I, I feel like, yeah, they're both keepers, right? Let's see. Keep both, is that? Both events are good, cheap oceans. All right, all right, we're good. Also take mining rights. I guess, yeah, because we can get our pr production going. And it helps us place a tile, one of those custom tiles, uh, where it can get us some kind of bonus off the board. Uh, and we can place it on an area like this. Uh, no, not this one. Uh, one of these ones with two steel. We'd get two steel. We'd place down a to uh, 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 tile, and then we can increase our production. So I I'm okay with that. That seems good. For nine, plus three for buying it. So it's really for 12. Gotta lay the tile and steal our time to get the production. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, I got that one in one of my games before. I remember seeing that one. I haven't seen a lot of these though. There's like so many custom, like little little specialized card tile ones. But I've seen that one a couple times and I, I feel like I don't see other ones very often. It's weird. I don't think I lost any cards. <laughs> and then we have this uh, for our ongoing abilities. So would this be good to take because of that steel and titanium? So this increases our power of our, so this steel, uh, you guys can't see it, but this steel is now worth three for everyone. And this is worth four for everyone. And this is a, this titanium can help reduce the cost of this card and make it even cheaper. I'm seeing kind of like a little theme here. I don't know about these bacteria and animals and stuff like that. I never take these cards. But again, it has a 4% oxygen restriction, uh, which is only here. Uh, oh, sorry. You guys can... Here we go. All right. Uh, so the restrict restrictions only here on the oxygen, which is not bad. But I, I don't know. I, I don't really care for the bacteria stuff. But you can do an action on the card to earn a bacteria. It goes on this card, I think. And then, or you can spend on a turn. So you can only do one per turn. You can trigger this card. And this, so every, so one, two, so every third turn, I can spend a bacteria, uh, two bacteria to make the temperature go up. But then I spend that. And then it takes two more turns to generate and a third turn to get one. I don't know if that's worth it. But I can't even play it till we reach or on the oxygen, and I don't see a way of getting plant tiles out, or greenery tiles out really yet. So, I don't know. Pass on the bacteria? Yeah, okay. Okay. But this one's okay? Hold on, let's see. Both of the blues look all right, says Yogi Bear. And Board Games Near Moss says, I would take both blue cards also. Play advances, alloys kind of early, then go for steel. Titanium production whenever you can. Uh, so, board games in your mouse, because it's 14 rounds, you're saying uh, the bacteria thing would only happen like three to four times. But it, it's a science tag also and cheap temp raises. Don't keep the bacteria. And Harry, thank you for subscribing. Much appreciated. Skip the bacteria. Focus on, okay. All right, we're, we're skipping it. There's a, some people want to keep it. Some people want to skip it, uh, but I'll skip it. Throw it in the skip pile here. So we're, we're, are we keeping five cards? That's like the most I've ever purchased starting the game, ever. I usually have like two or three. 
Can't do everything in this game. Oh, that I understand. So five, is that right? Is this the final five? Made the cut? These ones are going to the discard? Uh, but what faction based on that? We didn't buy any cards with restrictions, thankfully, because I hate that. Um, at least early. So based on that, I want to see some votes in the chat. Predicore or Inventrix? Based on, based on what we just chose there, I know none of them really tie to it. I, I easily could be convinced to go with three cards, and the money's decent, but I do like this discount, especially for buying lots of standard projects, like greenery tiles. If we have to buy greenery tiles, we're basically spending 23 and getting four back. So drop in Credicor or Inventrix or C or an I in the chat, I guess. C for Credicor, I for Inventrix. And I'll just take whichever one gets the most votes in chat, and we'll, we'll go with that. Adam's saying he likes Credit Core for solo. It seems like Credit Core is... <laughs> Money signs, yeah! Big spenders, medic, medic credits. Yeah, it's all Credit Core. I like the way you guys were in Ventrix at the beginning, but now based on the cards we wanted, uh, it totally changes that, right? Like, we had ones with restrictions on it, but we didn't take any of them. But I think if we took a few, maybe this would be better, but... Also, if we found barely any cards to play, I could totally see the idea of going for Adventrix just to draw more cards. To maybe dig and find stuff that we can actually use. Uh, okay, so no Adventrix. You're out. Predicore. We'll just put this down here. We don't need to worry about these. Like I said, the milestones and the awards aren't used in solo. Uh, and we'll put cards. Maybe we can put cards here that are like in our hand. We'll just throw them down here. And then when we play them, we'll put them over here somewhere. We'll do. Uh, okay, so we start with 57 mega credits. You guys will see me fumble with cubes all day. Yeah, that's why I, this is my third time playing solo and Yogi Bear is saying like this is going to be totally different than the last two games I played. So this I like how I played three times and it's going to be I'm doing totally different things, seeing different cards, you buying different cards, using different strategies. It just shows the replayability of the game and the variable score paths and engines are very vast and I like that a lot. So every time you play it feels kind of different. Uh even when I play multiplayer, just based on the uh uh, cre uh, the corporations you see and the cards you see, it's like it's just different all the time. And I can see how expansions can even spice it up even more. But I feel like that's why the solo, the, the base game was rated so high so quickly, uh, was for that like replayability. <laughs> Ilsa says, First, I was just going to jump in and say hi, Rob. And grats on playing one of the best games out there. But now I feel like it'd be fun to stick around and discuss strategy decisions. That's what I'm doing. That's why we do it live here. Yes, it takes longer. Yes, it's not a nice little concise one hour video to watch later of someone playing the game. Um, but with the live stream, we can talk about things, discuss things, have some fun, chill together and hang out uh, just like a day playing board games together. Uh, but yeah, we can all have fun. And some people watching here know the games we play on the channel can see based on my attitude and stuff and can understand whether the game might be for you or might not be for you, um, which I like. All right, but yeah, I just want to play Terraforming Mars today and have some fun, try it out solo. Uh, I want to play it solo some more too after this, and uh, now it'll be in contention uh, for my top 10 solo game video uh, next time around, but I'd, I hadn't played it solo when I last played. Uh, it was one of the games that I, I couldn't get in time before I did the video uh, to the table, but uh, yeah, we'll see. All right, uh, what else we get? So, every, so this is our ongoing ability. So every time we spend 20 or more on a card, or a uh, standard project, we get four mega credits back. And even has some flavor text on here. Multi-billionaire bard hunter likes terraforming, especially when it involves hurling asteroids at Mars. He also has a hunch that it's going to pay off. His company, Credicor, has all the resources he needs to jump right into the contest. Okay. And Geek Gamers, same, I mean, I resist this game for years because of the components and the graphic design and the images. It's just like a poor looking, poorly produ produced game. Um, but yeah, everyone talks about the second edition. The only problem is like, it, 
the price to component quality is is why I trash it so much. If this game was $30, uh, I wouldn't rip on it. I would say this is a great game for $30. But yeah, that's it. But yeah, it does look like it's made by sixth graders, like the graphic design. Uh, or it was designed on like a Windows 95 computer using software of that era. Um, but yeah, that's <laughs> uh, fine. It's, fun it's functional. It's definitely functional. All right. Anything else I need to do for setup that I missed? Editions. We chose our cards. Uh, so there is some solo stuff. Let's see if we can find it here. So for solo, before you place your two cities, we set up our stuff. Special case, if you choose to play Tharis Republic, that's not us. You get some special thing in solo. Start with the terraform rating of 14. So terraform rating of 14 over here. No extra production. So in a standard game, you start with like, you're producing extra stuff, we get nothing. And awards and milestones aren't used. And we have a neutral, this is important, you have a neutral opponent that you can steal from or reduce any kind of resources and production from. And you always play 14 generations, which we said already. But after the 14th generation, you may convert plants into greenery tiles, follow normal rules, but without using, or without raising the oxygen, so even if we haven't hit the oxygen by the end of, I guess, production of round 14, we, we lose still. Uh, and then you, f you score victory points. Try to get as high a score as possible. If we don't uh, complete a terraforming by end of 14, we lose. We lose. I don't want to lose. Uh, yeah, so let's pay for our cards. So we kept five. Uh, at three cost each, so we lose 15 mega credits. Whoops, 15 mega credits. This is why it's important to take cards you're actually going to play. Otherwise, we could sell them back for one later, but it's like we lost two mega credits. All right. But other than that, I think we're good to go. I think we're good to go. Okay. So uh, normally in a multiplayer game, I remember you get like one to two actions a, a turn. And you keep going around until everyone's passed, and that ends around. But because we're playing solo, we can just go crazy, take all the actions we want, and when we're done with actions, uh, we go to the next round after we do production. Uh, huge flaw with this game solo, and I was trying to figure out a solution before starting, but pay attention, I need your guys' help. If this cube gets bumped, uh, it ruins the whole solo playthrough. I restarted one because I got super frustrated uh, because I didn't know if I moved it, and then at one point I bumped it and didn't know where it was when I was just playing not recording. Uh, so I couldn't look back to figure out where it was. So we can always scrub back in the live stream to see where it is. But yeah, this cube, this big cube on this slippery board here could easily fall off. And if you don't remember what round you were on, you like totally invalidate the game. But what do you guys do out there? D12 or D20? I have that, but you can still bump dice. Take 13 times 4 cards. This is Joseph's solution. Put in piles. That way you can always check what round you're on. Make a turn order deck with cards? Like I can just use these? Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. So the cards you draw off at the start of the, start of the round. I like that one. Okay, so every round we're going to get to look at uh, cards, so it's for all all 14. No, you don't do it in the first round though So could I could just prepare it right now, right? <laughs> I, everyone has solutions. I love it. I thought it was an issue. It drove me nuts. No 13. Okay. Oh 13 times 4, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two three four uh, so 13 times 4 is how much? <laughs> I don't know. Quick math. I can't do it. I was raised on calculators. 13 times 4 equals 52 cards. 
Oh, I see. I see. 52. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. Okay, so this will be our deck. We still draw from it uh, when we get extra cards or anything like that. Um, actually, the deck of cards here, 52, no, we'll put it in here, it's still too big, all right, so this will be our deck of cards, we'll just throw it up here, throw it up there, okay, so we got to try to remember to draw from that and not from this, and that way we can track. Because you still might need other cards, so yeah, we gotta we can't just toss the rest of the cards away or anything. Okay, but I do like that a lot. That's cool. I know we could use like a D whatever, 14 or 12 or 20 or whatever, uh, which I have, but my D20, it can be bumped just as easily, right? It like could just roll. Like, I guess not too bad. But yeah, if I had a huge D20, one of those like giant ones for magic or whatever, uh, I could see using that. That's good too, right? They have like a nice flat surface on each side, like big, big space. Uh, okay, perfect. All right. Okay, so now let's just take a bunch of actions uh, until we run out of actions to do. So uh, what cards uh, do we play? I think Acquired Company is just like, uh, okay, for sure, card to play. Because we'll get our mega credits going. Ocean Tiles, we could place Ocean Tile to get more cards, or get Titanium, uh, which could help us play this one faster. Uh, or we can use the Ocean Tile. Mining Rights right away? Okay, okay. So Mining Rights, uh, it is worth nine. We don't have any steel to help make it cheaper. Are you sure? So how I would have done it, oh yeah, but we can get, like how I would have done it, because this card can't get any bonuses, right? So what I would have done is pay 11 for this, get an ocean tile down. I'd probably throw it on somewhere with, with, um, with the two steel, because I know I want to play a steel card, so I get two steel, then I use this, I'd probably plop it down on titanium, increase my titanium production, I'd use steel to play it for cheaper, that I'm not wasting a bunch of mega credits on it for full price. Uh, but I know the whole thing I'm not good at is the placing on the board. Like, I just throw ocean tiles down for whatever is needed at the time. But I know if you put them all together, then you play a tile beside them, you get a mega credit bonus. But that I look at the flow of economy. Like, how can I make things cheaper? Everything's like coupons, man. It's like, I want to make this cheaper and never pay full price for it. And then I make, create a coupon for this thing and then that thing and then blah, blah, blah. So I, I try to see a line of play where it's like I'm, I'm spending as little as possible. <laughs> Everything is like coupons, man. <laughs> Rob 2020. I love it. So Jot's here. What's going on? I didn't see you sneak in. Uh you could also trust chat. We would keep no uh, yes, generally, Sajat, I would trust chat. Trusting you though to keep track. I don't know. But everyone else, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Uh so based on that, uh I like to do let's try it my way here. Let's see. Uh so this one. Or 11, right? But again, I'm not mathing everything out. I don't sit there and count like, okay, based on this, I want to play this first. I just kind of look and go, ah, eh, yeah, I think this one. And then I just spend it. If we need to like roll back one purchase, we can do that. But yeah, I definitely want to play the company card. That seems like for every round, it just gets better and better. But I mean, most of these cards are all that way. I also, if I can get this one, it makes titanium and steel worth more. I don't know if I'll get to do all this this round though. That's the problem. 
So I spend 11, right? So this card gets played uh, and goes face down and we get an ocean tile. So an ocean tile comes off. Uh, since we have a load of cards, uh, normally I would, I would, if I had low cards, I'd play it there to get cards. Uh, but I, I like playing it on this one or this one for the titanium or the steel. But you guys want to play mining rights soon. So I figured let's play it here. Which I know is probably not the best. I don't know. Like I know making patterns of things on the board for victory points later is probably the best way. But man, I'm just looking to get as much engine going as fast as possible so we can get all three parameters up. I, I don't really care about victory points that much. That, that's not the fun of this game to me. Uh, I like the solo game of just trying to hit all these things and it's like pretty challenging to do based on the cards you get dealt sometimes. Uh, so we'll try for that. Uh, so what was I doing? Uh, oh, two steel, two steel. Okay. So now if we can play this, we make that steel worth more, right? 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 Oh, I could do it on the titanium one, true. That's the thing, like, which one's better? I, 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 like, if I'm trying to play this one this turn to get the production going, I, I definitely want to put it on the steel. Because if we're not, like, it depends which one of these we want to play, like, ASAP. So if I, I need titanium we, to play this card first, that makes sense. And then I can put this, the ocean tile from this, but we can do it the other way around. Mm, maybe not. Yeah, maybe we do it on the titanium. We'll be here forever. <laughs> okay, yeah, titanium. I like it. Let's do titanium. Okay. And then we're going to play this advanced alloys, I think. Uh, we get one back. And that's like an ongoing ability. So now our titanium that's here is worth four each. So then we'll play this. I think, yeah. What do we do? Yeah, we do this one. Um, and this one we play, sorry, this is four each, this is eight here, so we need seven from here, right? And then, so we get three back, and then we play this one face down, and we get an ocean tile, and we draw a card, I'll just put that card there for now. Ocean tile, so this is where I place it on the steel, right? Place ocean tile, oh yeah, I'm forgetting to uh, bump up this. One and two. For each of the oceans, we get, uh, because we're dealing with a global parameter, uh, your terraform rating goes up. Uh, that's key. That's something I, I know I forget at least once or twice when I'm playing. If you play too quickly, like, because I'm new, you got to be slow about it, and you got to make sure you get all the steps, like, because there's, like, multiple steps to everything, I feel. Um, but, yeah, so our terraform rating is now at 16. So that will help our mega credit direct, uh, production in the next round, which is cool. And help our final score, because your base final score, yeah, forgetting it in solo is, is that's one of, there's so much to take care of in solo, I find. But it's part of the fun. That's why I think the digital version shines for solo. Uh, I haven't played it, but I assume since it's keeping track of all that stuff, you'll have a better off final score, like a more valid final score uh, than if you were playing that way. So, uh, so I'm getting two steel, okay? And those are worth three each. So uh, I could play this card. Or, uh, so I, I reduce it by six, because it's a building. And then I pay three more to get the nine. Then I get that mining tile. Right, right. Whatever. Okay, so then I get that mining tile. And I can put this anywhere on the board, right? Did I forget to pay for something? I think I paid for everything. I try to pay first before I start placing cards. But let me know. I, I might miss that stuff. And when we haven't spent over 20 for anything, right? This is the ability I'll forget, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't think so. No, all the cards were of under 20, right? Yeah. Okay, so this mining tile, where is it going? It has to go on somewhere with steel or titanium. And if we put it actually up here, right? Do we put it up here? Based on the space with steel or titanium on it. So we could still get two steel from here. 
and we get a two two mega credit because you get a placement bonus when you're putting a tile beside water. Didn't I get? I'm at sixteen. Shouldn't I only have? Because I start at fourteen, right? Yogi Bear says the thing I mess up is increase in production versus straight generation. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Something else may be showing up on the 8th. Um, feel like playing it just for the placement bonus right here and getting steel. Even though, oh, I guess we should know this card, right? Ah, see? So this is the card we drew off that other event. Uh, and basically, it, it's space, so titanium. Uh, it, we can reduce the cost of it, and then you can increase your mega production one step for each space tag you have, including this one. Holy! That's cool. Even if it's just this card, I think that's great. But, I mean, these don't count because they're face down, right? Like, I, I assume if you get this one late in the game, that's, like, amazing. But, again, earlier it's going to pay out more. So if we had more space tags or now, it'd be great, but... Uh, so based on this, I would probably want to go for a titanium. Oh, and I forgot to increase my production. I forgot to increase my production. That will happen with this, right? So, could make this card super cheap. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to go here. Hmm. No, we'll go here. So we'll take one titanium for a placement bonus and two mega credits because we put it beside water. Okay. And then place this tile in an area with steel or titanium placement bonus. Increase that production one step. So we're going to get our titanium production increased. Oh, Edward. Perfect. I did this exactly what you just recommended. Awesome. Great minds. Great minds to go like. Okay. So that's done. Now. Wired company and satellites. We have 14 mega credits to spend, plus we have four worth of titanium for this card if we want. But I really want to get this in play just because it boosts up mega credit by three. This one only boosted up by one because of one space tag. And maybe we draw some space tags first next round and we can play this after we've played some space tags, uh, especially with our titanium production. So I think this one's the more important to play. So I'm gonna I'm gonna play just ten and play this one. And our mega credit production goes one, two, three. So now we're gonna get plus three to our terraform rating of mega credit production every generation. I mean ice, there's no water at minus thirty. Oh you're correct. <laughs> yes, you're correct. So I put it next to the ice. <laughs> uh, flip the tile to make it look nicer. Oh yeah. I don't put the things on it. I don't know if that looks nicer. Can you see it on video better? I just figured leaving it on this side for video, you know what, what it is. But yes, there is another side that you're supposed to put a cube on when you're playing multiplayer. But in solo, I don't put cubes on any of our stuff. Because we know we own it. I don't care. So Geek Gamers, to win the solo game, you must... Terraform the planet completely. So you must get the temperature all the way up. You must get the oxygen all the way up to 14. And you must get all these nine ocean tiles on the board. Otherwise, you lose. If you don't do that by the end of 14 rounds, you lose. But there's also an additional you add victory points. If you have completed those three things, you total up your victory points to see how well you did. So you can try to beat yourself like with the high score. Like, you know, create like a leaderboard and compare it with your buddies and all that kind of stuff. To me, this is only my third time playing solo. I'm still new to the game. I like the challenge of just trying to win by getting all the parameters up. I find it very challenging to get it done in 14 uh, generations or rounds. Uh, so that's the main way to just like make sure you've won. Otherwise, you just lose. You don't even count victory points. Uh, so that's how it works in solo, which is different. And we ignore the milestones and the awards uh, that you would normally be playing with the multiplayer, which I didn't really like. I was like, oh, that's kind of fun. But I guess playing it solo, it's like... Kind of boring because you would just pick the ones that benefit you and you'd always be the first and so yeah. It's 12 rounds with the Prelude DLC says Hugo. 
Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. We have four mega credits left. We got some steel. We have enough? No. This is worth four. We have eight total. Two shy of this. Don't see any other way that we could have changed much there. But that's okay. So I think we're out of actions. I don't think we have anything left to do. Because the only things you can do is play a card. Uh, buy a standard project. What else is there that in solo? Uh, you can convert eight plants to uh, greenery tile. Or you can convert eight heat to temperature. And we don't have milestones, don't have a word. So there's less actions. And use an action of a blue card. But this one's passive. So unless it has a red arrow, it's if it has a red arrow, it's an action you can do one time. Just like these red arrows you see here, or these red arrows you see here. When you ever see a red arrow, that's like an action that you can do, basically. On to the next gen. And Jan Menez, thank you for subscribing. Much appreciated. Thank you for the support. Uh, all right. Next generation. So we go on to a production phase. So uh, first you convert energy to heat, which we don't have any. In a, that, that worries me a ton. Because usually I have some in there. But we had no generation for that. Uh, we could have got some generation. Maybe we need to do that soon. I don't know. Or hopefully we see some cards to help us out there. Uh, but you convert all energy to heat. So that happens. That's why there's a little hole there. Um, and then you start collecting your resources. So we get 16 mega credits plus uh, 3. So 19. I'll just take a 20 of them and put one back. Uh, then we produce steel, which is at zero still, so we don't produce any. Then titanium, we produce one every generation, so now we have eight worth in there. Plants, no. Energy, no. Heat, no. Ugh, that's scary. That's scary, man. That is, it feels weird playing this. I don't know how we win without this stuff. I guess just by buying these, right? But we'll see. It's only first generation. Don't panic, Rob. It's only first generation. <laughs> feels weird, though. All right. Um... So then we would clear off tokens off any blue card. So if we used an ability on a blue card, we'd mark it because it's only once per round. But these, this one's passive. It just always applies. But you clear those off. Then we'll move the generation track up. Then we draw four cards. I think I'm doing everything right. Let me know. Bend your way out of the dead planet. First generation route. <laughs> so we get four cards. Okay, We took them off our special 52 card deck. Uh, now we can choose, just like at the beginning of the game, we can choose to buy any of these for three mega credits each. We can buy all four, we can buy two, we can buy none. It's our choice. So you guys can help out here. Uh, so this card you have to play early in the game. You can't play it after there's four oceans or more. It has a limit of max three oceans. We are only at two, so we are still good to play it. Uh, but if and it's just straight up one victory point. That's all it is. Two for one victory point. I mean, if we're going for points... We're spending three to buy it, two to play it, so five mega credits for one victory point. And here's the thing, in multiplayer, makes sense. If you're going for high score, makes sense. But I'm just trying to freaking win, but I'm not gonna buy it because this doesn't help us get heat, doesn't help us get oxygen, doesn't help us put ocean tiles on the board. Lame, boring card. But uh, yeah, I see you guys in the chat saying boring. <laughs> but yeah, definitely. This one, you can't play it if you go over four oxygen. We're at zero still, so four is there. Uh, this one, oh, it's one of these special tiles. Oxygen must be at four or less. Place this tile next to another tile. Increase your mega, product, mega credit production one step. And we can reduce it if we had steel, which we don't have any right now. So I guess if you needed space tags or whatever these ones are, it, are not space. These have a name, science tags, science tags. Uh, and you get a victory point at the end of the game. Got to win before going for points. Exactly, Edward. That's why I like the beauty of the solo game is like just trying that challenge, but also balancing like how to get victory points and when because it could hurt your chances of winning the game. And we have another card here, Insulation. Uh, you can, oh, wow. Decrease your heat production any number of steps to increase your mega production the same number of steps. Well, we have zero in our heat production, so that seems useless. Um... And then we have one of these ones that helps us uh, raise or lower the requirement on playing a card. The next card you play could raise or increase the requirement. So if 
We took this one, for example, which you need to play by three oceans or earlier. We could play this to buy us more time. You play this and you could raise this to like max five, so you have more time to play the card. Bad example, I wouldn't care to do that, but. I don't like any of these cards. Unless I'm missing some, maybe this one? Like maybe this one. But you're buying this card for three, spending nine on it, just to increase your mega credit production. Yeah, I guess if we increase it in round two, it will pay off by the time we get to 14, we'll have earned back, hopefully. I guess that one's okay? Keep the one green card? Yeah, natural preserve, right? This is the one you wanted me to keep? I've drawn a hand of bus tickets, says Bob. <laughs> natural preserve of what, rocks? Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, one VP, okay. Again, don't care about the victory points, but hey, maybe we can beat my high score or beat your high score, or who knows? Try to beat, beat the game first. Uh, yeah, so the rest are trash. I'll throw them in the discard pile face down and we'll keep this one for three mega credits. Okay. Again, I'm not really seeing expensive cards yet that, uh, I mean, maybe we saw some in the beginning to use this ability, but I know we'll, we'll use it on the green retiles for sure. Okay. And we'll draw the late game cards just at the right time when we have like lots of mega credits and we can go nuts. All right. So, how much money do we have? 20 mega credits and we have uh, eight worth of titanium. So the titanium we can use on this one and then we only have to pay two to play this card. And we didn't see space tags really that were worth it or anything. So this will just increase our mega credit, credit production by one. I, like, I think we just play our cards, but, but is there a reason? Should we play like, should we do the greenery tile? Oh, we don't have enough to do it. Yeah, we don't have enough to do any of that stuff. So we're just playing cards, I think, right? So let's spend eight titanium and two of our uh, mega credits. To play this card, satellites. And we're just gonna play it here and increase our mega credit production by one for every space tag we have, which is just one. Kind of lame. I was hoping we drew in a, some cool space cards. And actually, let me see. What do we have? Not a, no tag. No tag. And science. Okay, yeah. So nothing with space. I'm sure I would have noticed, but yeah. Nothing there. I don't know how much I'd want to hold on to this card. I'd rather just get the production paying back. All right. Uh, and then we have this natural preserve. Uh, which we don't have any steel to help discount, but it's only nine. So let's drop and get one back. And this will get that special tile. And this just says oxygen must be 4% or less, which it is. Uh, place the tile next to no other tile and increase your mega production one step. Adjacent to no other tile. Uh... Probably do it here where I get a card or here where I get a plant and a titanium. I can't put it, I love it for two cards, but that I can only put an ocean there. I, I feel like a card, I think. Yeah, let's just draw a card. Is that cool? Because I don't, the titanium does nothing for me if I have no cards to discount it with, so I'm going to take a card. This. We're seeing this one, I don't think. Te te tectonic stress power. So we need two science tags to play it. I have two science tags. Wow, that's never worked before. Interesting. Uh, but holy three energy production. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like it, but I don't have steel to make this card cheaper. Well, we could get our energy production going here in round two. We don't have enough for it though. We have to wait till next round. Hmm. 
Next gen? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so anything we want to do with our nine mega credits? Not really, right? Can't really do anything here. No, none of these are even possible. So that's like the end of a generation. That generation was boring, but that's the way it works. Um, so we have no tokens to clear, so we're going to get our uh, 16 plus 4 is 20. Okay, none here. We get one titanium, nothing else. Uh, bump this up. Draw four. One, two, three, four. Ah. All right. So we have titanium, so this card can come become real cheap. We get an ocean, two cards, and then you can take four plants or four animals. We don't have any cards that have animals, but getting plants could equal more oxygen and two victory points. Personally, I would keep it because we have the titanium. Um, but I could be wrong. And, oh, and we get a discount of four back. We get four back if we play a big, big expensive card like that. And this one too. Towing a Comet. Again, titanium reduction. Two plant resources. We get to increase oxygen by one. And ocean. I think this one's better to take now. But both are possible to work towards. Uh, lunar Beam. You can decrease your mega credit production to increase your heat and your energy production. I mean, that could be good too. We need we need to raise the temperature. Like that could help get us going, and it's early still. So that could be something we do now, just help this get going. I don't know, but we also have this for energy. I don't know. And then this one, kind of boring, but might be good is you get two terraform rating right now which pays out throughout the game you're going to get extra money going forward but normally that would be two extra victory points in the, the game also but instead the card evens it out by minus two victory points this is so cheap i guess it's just like it just helps you for money during the game ah uh, let's see so lunar beam and towing i like so towing we're taking for sure i really like that one i really like that one okay and lunar beam Oh, and bribed. Okay, so these three, are, are we dumping this one? Or are we keeping it for a long-term kind of play-ish? Like it is cards, it is ocean, it is some plants. I don't know if that's worth it, but we do have the titanium stuff. Pass on the comet. Uh, pass on the comet? Oh, convoy, convoy. Oh, okay, I was like, what? Uh, okay, so we're passing on the con convoy. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Dump it, says Rich, nice. Okay, so this is gonna cost us nine mega credits, done. Okay, and now we got some new toys. New toys to our hands, all right. New options, I guess. Okay, round three. Oh yeah, this player mat is a must. I Honestly, after we played it multiplayer a couple times, I put the game away and said I was never going to play it again until I got a solution for the board. Then I found out they have these official boards on Board Game Geek. I think you can order them directly from the publisher too, uh, for those that don't know, but they're way better than the player mats. Yeah, like they're a must. Like I wouldn't touch the game until I got them. And once they arrived, then I was like, all right, I'll play it again. <laughs> Yeah, I just love the way they're like, they're double layer boards, just like the scythe boards. Um, yeah, they're very nice. I like the way they have tokens here for when you go above the levels. You don't have to like pile tokens upon tokens or cubes on cubes or whatever. Yeah, big big difference. Yeah, Board Game Geek, that's where I got them too. Just shipping's kind of crap unless you're in the US, but um, other than that, I, I feel like it was worth it. But I wish there was conventions. I would have just picked them up at a convention, but... Oh, their shipping, international shipping is decent? Eh, I feel like it's gotten worse, but... Oh, you buy lots of promos and stuff? I buy some stuff from there, but only like once a year, and I try to put a whole bunch of stuff together, because, yeah, the shipping is not the greatest, and it takes forever, I find, but... Okay. Um... Now here's the problem. It's like we're gonna get in the analysis paralysis. It's like I have, what do I have? 
uh, let's trade this in. So I literally have 20 mega credits and four titanium. I, I could do the towing a comet, just get it out there. We get an oxygen and an ocean going, and that could bump up our terraform rating. But also we can just play this to bump up our terraform rating and then get some, what else can we do? So this costs seven. That would leave us with 13. And then we play like Lunar Beam. I could play these two, I think. This would kind of cancel out this ish, ish, the, the production. But then we get some heat and energy going, which could lead to temperature increases. Mega credit production should be at five. Oh, did I mess something up? Did I forget this one probably? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I missed one. I missed one on this card, I think, the last one. Thank you. All right, so I got the extra mega credit. But Comet, Comet, yeah, it gets me a refund too. Yeah, that's the other thing. It gets me four back, but I still can't do much with that four right now. And if I do wait another turn, uh, this becomes even cheaper because I'll have more titanium, one more. So maybe I'll just wait. I'll wait on this. Let's play these two. So this one for seven. Take three back. Uh, so we increase our terraform rating. One, two. Okay, and then this gets played. It'll lose us two victory points later. That's fine. Then we're going to play Lunar Beam for 13. Uh, we reduce our mega credit production down to three, uh, but then we increase our heat production and our energy production by two each. Minus two VPs. Oh no. <laughs> I'm not worried about the victory points again, but yes, uh, it's a little scary, but hopefully it pays off over the game, right? That we keep getting extra money from uh, where our, um, where our terraform rating is, right? Um, uh, and that's all we really can do right now, I think, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, so, end of the generator score production. Um, so mega credits now is 18 plus 3, so 21. Let me know if my math's ever wrong, which could be. Uh, this nothing, this gets 1 for titanium. Uh, nothing here. This gets two in the energy and two in the heat. Okay, and we go around here. We're going to bump the round up to four. We're on generation four. We're going to take four more cards. Around four. Full station. So this is the one thing I don't know how it works in solo. I know you have an opponent. How does a card like this work in solo where your imaginary opponent has like whatever you need kind of thing? Is it just one I get to increase it? Because it says increase your mega credit production one step for each space tag your opponents have. So how does that work? Do they always have one or can I say they have 78? Like I, I just don't know how that kind of card works in solo. Bainhorn says it's, it's crap. But what is it, what is it equal though? What how many space things does my opponent have? Infi infinity. Dump it, dump it. One probably nobody knows. Nobody knows what, what the ruling is on that. Doesn't count for anything, says Philip. Okay, let's check. Yeah, it says you, you have a neutral opponent that you can steal from or reduce any kind of resources and production from, but that's all it says. So to me, you can't, it's nothing, yeah. To me, it's nothing. They don't have any production? Okay, perfect, perfect, useless card. Well, that sucks. Why, why is it in here then? And I even tell you, you have to play with these cards in solo. 
All right, we just dump it. That sucks. Okay, dumped. <laughs> I was thinking like, at least it's one, but uh, we also have Tropical Resort, but we don't have steel to make this cheaper yet, but uh, decrease your heat production two steps, increase your mega pr credit production three steps, two victory points. One divided by zero's affinity, says Matthias. You, you might be right. Oh, Board Games Nirma says he, he played it so he draws a replacement card if it comes up. I, I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Because if it's a useless card, like literally zero, that's kind of like a dead card. So I drew Hackers. Minus one energy production, and then you could decrease an opponent's production so it doesn't matter, right? Oh, no, but you have to do your own? No, you can do an opponent, right? So this, I could decrease my, uh, my energy. I have to. And I could do my pretend opponent, so I don't have to do this myself, just to increase this by two. I know that heat production loss, energy production loss is bad right now. <laughs> Protected habitats is the other dead card. Hopefully you don't get that one. Okay, so like that. Uh, we got Inventor's Guild. Action, look at the top card of either deck, or either, and either, sorry. Look at the top card and either buy it or discard it. I don't know. I like the idea of this. If you're digging for, like, specific stuff, that could be good. But for three credits plus nine, that seems expensive. Hmm. And then there's fish. So this is like the animal stuff. So we the restriction on it at plus two is garbage to me. Uh, but it's just a straight victory point card. And we'd have to reduce plant production. We can't even play it because we don't have any plant production and our restriction. So this is garbage. Too random. Good for card scrying. I agree. This I could argue this. Like this I could see. I could be convinced to play this one. But again, I don't know the deck well enough to know like what I'm even digging for. It's just like... You're just kind of seeing what you get, I guess. But you can do it once per turn, and I'm only on round four, but we could get to look at ten cards. Just hackers? Yeah, okay. Increasing energy production. I don't know. Hackers works out. All right, we're keeping hackers. Spending three on it. Oh, we got nine. That for it. Uh, okay. All these are junk. Junk, junk, junk. Okay. I really want to play this one though to bump the energy up though too. Uh, so we only have 19 mega credits, and I think maybe we go with the titanium now, play the big card, and then maybe we just get hackers going. So this I can play, so I have 8 discount here, uh, so that's 15 left, A15 here, then I get 4 back, that puts me at 8 mega credits. Then could play hackers. Hackers kind of gives you a five card drop per turn. Okay, I'll play this one here. Towing Comet. Uh, so we're doing eight off titanium, 15 to cover the rest. Uh, whoops. And then we get four back. I'll just change this up. So we're at eight here. Uh, we get two plants. We raise oxygen by one, which raises our terraforming to 19. Terraform rating or whatever. Uh, and then we get to place an ocean, which will also increase our terraform rating to 20. Where the heck am I putting this ocean? Two cards? Two cards where I want to put it. Any recommendations? I'm thinking the two cards. 
Did you include your blue card boost on titanium cost? Yes, I did. Yeah, because titanium is normally just three. Uh, but I used it for eight. I had two tokens, which they equal four each uh, instead of two cards. Yeah, okay, perfect. I, I, I mean, that's what I would do. I just don't know. Again, the, the uh, board play is not my strong suit. Uh, so we're going to draw two cards. Okay. And that is it from this card. And we got our four. I already took the four economy back from Credit Core. Uh, should be there. So we got, oh, I like this card. I like this card a lot. Space Mirrors, uh, especially since we're playing with Titanium. Uh, now you're playing with power. Uh, and then seven, uh, once per turn, we can turn seven mega credits into an energy production. It only costs three to play. And we get it for free right now, so we didn't have to play th pay three to get it. Uh, this one, we need four oceans on the board, which we have three as a, a, as a um, requirement. Um, but we reduce our energy production by two to increase our mega production by five. We get this special city, which is capital. This requires four ocean tiles. Place this tile. Oh, it's this one. It's this one. This white one. Uh, decrease your energy production by two. Increase your mega credit production by five. One additional victory point for each ocean tile adjacent to this city tile. Oh, so we like slam this in here. That's where like you do that. I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. Yeah, I got the refund for Comet already. I got the refund for Comet. Uh, this is good. Amazing card. Or are you talking about space mirrors? <laughs> is this a keep or a trash? What do you guys think? Keep or a trash? I don't have steel production, so that kind of hurts me. Capital solid. Oh, Yogi's talking about the other card. Okay. This is worth it. I do have the re uh, credit core refund on it, so it's like, it basically, it's like 29 cost. Oh, I'm not keeping or trashing. I just get these. I I'm, I'm thinking I had to throw it away. I don't have to throw it away. I keep it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Brain fart. All right. So we, we should not sell it for one is what I should be asking. Not trashing it. You actually get one back. Yeah, we're not buying it. We're not buying it. Yeah, yeah. So I don't have to pay three. Woo! Can you tell I'm a noob at this game? All right. Anyways, uh, yeah. Okay, so that was just us playing this card. So is Hackers still the play? I think so, right? Yeah. Or space mirrors. We wouldn't have enough to use space mirrors this turn. So, and it's a space tag. We can play it for basically free next turn. So let's play some hacker man uh, for three. We reduce our energy production by one, and an opponent's energy our mega credit production by two. So we choose our imaginary opponent, uh, and then we increase our mega pre credit production back to five. Plus five. Plus five. And it'll lose us a victory point at the end of the game. Oh no! What does it say on hackers? Very unethical, very illegal, very lucrative. <laughs> Decrease your energy production one step and any mega credit production two steps. We choose our opponent for that one. Increase your mega credit production increase by two steps. Hackers! Kazumi says, role play evening is starting. Have fun with the rest of the game. You too. Good luck with your game. Have fun. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, all right. We have five mega credits left. I don't, I don't see the point in playing Space Mirrors yet. Uh, we can't do anything else really. So now we actually have energy. So first thing you do in production phase here, we slide it over. It becomes heat. Okay. Then we get all our, our goodies. Uh, so we're getting 20 plus 5. We're actually at 30 mega credits. No steel. We get one titanium. No plants. One energy. 
and two heat. Okay, good. Uh, we bump up to generation five, and we take four cards. If you decrease your power production, you won't be able to play the capital card. Oh yeah, you're right. So I, I have to play this first then, right? I, I would have to play this or or I play this, right? And, and I bump it up with this. So I have a couple ways to do it. I have a couple ways to do it. That's why I was thinking it's like kind of okay. But yeah, reducing it worries me in general based on like I'm sitting here at the bottom still. <laughs> So the whole heat thing, I'm still still stressing about it. All right, let's see what we get. We got investment loan for three. You can play it. Decrease your mega credit production to get ten credits. We're on round five, so technically reducing it by one, we lose one, two, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Really, it's nine we lose by reducing it, but we get ten. But then we got to spend three to play it, three to keep it. Garbage. Garbage. Right? Discard, I think. If the game was like multiplayer, you knew it was going like, oh, I could go forever. That might maybe great very early, but I think we would have had to see that in like round one or two to really care. Oh, we can get some steel production for four. That could be helpful. <laughs> Track rounds. Uh, I feel like this is good, but cause, cause like we have, we have two cards that, that need some steel. I feel like this is a keep mine. All right. Soil factory. Oh, losing energy, increased plant production. Did we care about that? Like we need to get oxygen going. And it also fills the whole steel thing. But again, I, like I don't know. We already have so many cards. Maybe. That's a maybe. Oh, here we go. This one, just for some card draw, we can play it off titanium. I want to keep this one, I think. I want to keep this one. I want to keep this one for cards. Digging for cards, I think. So I don't know. Investment loan is a no, I think. But out of these, like, I don't know. I feel like the cards I'm drawing are kind of trashy. Those are all, yeah, they're decent. That's how I would describe them to you. Decent. But are they worth it? I want to keep this one. I want to keep this one. This one's the only one I'm like not sure. Can't take everything. Oh, science tag. Yeah, you're right. Uh, oh, no, no. Uh, the science tag goes away though once you flip it, right? Mine and maybe tech demo. Yeah. Yeah, let's just get rid of these. These are fine. I don't want them. Done. Gone. So these ones I'll buy for six. Okay. The cards, but none of them are screaming power to me here. Uh, okay. So we have 24 mega credits. I want to get energy production up. But steel. Let's get the steel going. So we're going to play this mine for four and increase our steel production. Um, Look at more cards first. Yeah, this, yeah, I could see just to get, see other options. That makes sense. So we can reduce the cost of it by four by playing one titanium, and then we'll spend one mega credit. Nine back chain to draw two cards. 
Yeah, we could trade him in for money. All right, so here's what we got. Protected Valley. Oh. Get a little plant tile plus some mega credit production. Protected Valley, I like. And then energy saving. Increase your energy production one step for each city tile in play. That includes the two that are out already. I think that's okay, because it's normally 11 to increase uh, energy production. We have a way to make it seven. And this does it twice right now. I don't see... We could put out a city, but... Oh, actually, we could put capital out first. That's a city. Right? Does that count? Yeah, that's a city, right? Yeah, yeah, it's got the symbol. Yeah, yeah. So we could we could play it after capital. After capital and get three energy production out of it. Okay, I feel like we're going to get the heat stuff going, but... Oxygen and oceans, a little iffy, but we can pay for that. Hmm. Hmm. Tonic stress power will get energy production going to heat. Yeah. I, I like this one because this, but I, I was thinking like we will get some steel going, but I can't wait forever. So it's like maybe I'll just play this one uh, for 18. And then this goes up by one, two, three, up to four. That's a good good number to be sitting at. Uh, have one mega credit left. I think that's what it was. Or was this steel? Is this steel and I bumped it? No, that no, no, no. This was here, I think. I don't know. That cube, I bumped it or something. I don't know. I think it's supposed to be there. Because, yeah, I spent the titanium, right? This one? Yeah. Okay. Agree on tech stress. Perfect. Okay, so we played that. Uh, bumped up our heat production. I can't do anything else. So, uh, we'll convert our energy to heat. And then we'll take our 5 plus 20 mega credits. One steel. One titanium. No plants. Four energy. And two heat. Nice. We can actually do the action of spending eight heat. Sweet. Uh, then bump it up to six on the round. And draw some cards. All right. So what do we get? Micro mills. Three, just to increase heat. That's a yes, I feel. Asteroid. Uh, we can raise the temperature, get two titanium resources, and we don't... We could just reduce our opponent by three plants. I feel like this is a yes. I feel like this is a big yes. Release of inert gases. 14 for two terraform rating. I feel like that's a no, but hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight more times. Times two is 16. So it's it's like, but then we got to pay three for it. Garbage. Yeah, yeah. Garbage. Yeah, we lose on that trade. Oh, hello. Yes, yes. Right? Space. We can do space reduction with titanium. Increase our heat. Are, are we good with all three? All three good? Any objections? Speak now or forever hold your peace. All great, right? Finally start drawing into good stuff, I think. Like good or great stuff, maybe. At least my opinion. Again, I don't know the whole deck. <laughs> so, getting hot in here. <laughs> yes, titanium engine. I'm only generating one titanium a turn, though. This is a problem. <laughs> How? I don't think that's a full engine yet, but... <laughs> oh, man. But at least it's 
the titanium's more uh, worth more, so it's nice. So it's like worth four each, which is good. All right. <laughs> uh, so 26 mega credits uh, can do what for me here? I'm trying to do. We're definitely going to increase heat. Should I just do that right now so I don't forget? I don't think there's any reason to wait, right? I'm going to spend eight. Uh, um, man, these tokens, I don't know. Anyways, or no, that's supposed to still be here. Nope, I don't remember. Anyways, I'm bumping stuff, so I don't know. Uh, heat goes up by one. Terraform rating goes up. Boom. We're now at minus 28. <laughs> oh, I didn't pay nine for the cards. Thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, thank you, thank you. All right. Yeah, we only have, now we have 17. I can't play this till I get another ocean out, so I feel like that's kind of together. I need to get another ocean going. Um, I want to play like these two, I think. And this also. Okay, this I could play for just 10. I'm going to play this one, Asteroid. So for four off Titanium plus 10 is going to get me one temperature increase, which helps my terraform rating, and two titanium back. Okay, and then I don't have to reduce my plants, because I'll just choose my opponent and whatever. Okay, that's done. And then now with the titanium of eight plus one mega credit, I'm going to increase my heat production up to four. Okay, I have six mega credits left. I'm just going to spend three on this one and increase my heat production up to five. Did I spend 20 or more on anything? I don't think so, right? I think we're okay. I have three mega credits left. I have some steel. I didn't play anything that was steel or building. I have cards that I can use it on though. So we'll get some of that going soon. All right, I think that's it. So we'll convert heat or t um, energy to heat. We'll get uh, 27 mega credits. One steel, one titanium, no plants, four energy, and five heat. Okay, we're going to generation seven. Let's look at four cards. Yeah, remember back, Edward says, remember back when you had n no production on the bottom half of your board? Yeah, yeah. I just still, the plant one has me worried. Like, that's the only one I'm, like, very worried now. It's like, uh, I know plants are victory points, but it's like, ah, uh, this oxygen, like, uh, I don't know how I'm getting that to go up very fast. I have, like, one thing to get a plant here. That's uh, a greenery tile. But I feel like my plant production is going to be the reason I lose the game. I know I could spend money on this when I near late game. I know we can slam this and, and we get refunds back on it. But, like, I'm kind of hoping we do that at the right time and I don't run out. But anyways, let's see. Let's see. What do we get? Ecological zone. You need at least one plant in play, I think that means. Requires that you have... Oh, I have to have a greenery tile. I don't own any greenery tiles. So those are my opponents. Uh, and then it's when you play an animal or plant tag, you get an animal on this card. Then you get one point at the end of the game for every two animals on this. Get out of here. I'm not a fan. I know there is a, a way you play these for points, and we could go crazy with the points, but I'm just trying to get the gold parameters up this play, so I, I'm not worried about a card like that. But 
if if we had an engine of plant production, uh, I would take that probably for just some extra victory points and stuff. But we're good right now. And if I got it earlier. This one, we need to be at minus 14. Uh, we're getting there. Minus 14 is here on the, on the temperature. Uh, Heather, it's called. It increases plant production and gives you a plant. Eep? I don't know. Is that, is that good? Six for a plant production? But, like, that could be a few rounds from now. Eep? The heat is going to go up quick now? Okay, perfect. All right, I'll keep that one. Uh, I'll spend three on it right now. I'll spend three on it right now so we don't forget. Okay. Then we have a uh, giant space mirror. Yeah, look at this. I think this is good. Because we can use titanium to pay for it and get some more energy going. Or, or do we have too much heat going? But we will be reducing our, our energy generation by two with this capital card. So I feel like I take this. Yeah, we're taking giant space mirror. It'll go good with our little space mirrors. Okay, we'll spend three on that. And this one's junk. Uh, I don't care about the victory points, so we're just going to trash it. Okay. Cool. And I like we have cards, like options. And I feel like they're all decent. But if we play them or we don't, like, hopefully we can get them all going. Uh, okay, so we have 24 mega credits. Uh, I need one more ocean out to be able to play this capital. Uh, so let's get a heat production going. Let's spend eight. Go up one here. Uh, that will get us one more terraform rating and also increases our heat production by one. Right? Okay. Um, hmm. There is no hand limit in the game, which is awesome. Which is awesome. You think there would be, since you have a way of dumping cards for money? But no, you can hold all day. But then it's on you if you don't dump things at the right time to buy other things. If That's the problem, because you could use some of that money by throwing some cards away to get another card in earlier to help. Uh, you know, bear some fruit from it. But if you hold the cards too long and you throw them away for just one Medicare credit at the end of the game, it doesn't really do anything for you. Oh, and yeah, sorry, there's a milestone, right? Uh, in the multiplayer game, you can get uh, extra points at the end of the game uh, if you're like the first to get planner uh, that's like uh, 16 cards in the hand or whatever. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I think after today, I officially played the game more solo. Then I played it multiplayer, so uh, we'll see. We'll see if that sticks. Okay, um, you know, like plant production can't do it yet. Giant space mirror seems good. Reduce the cost. So we can get a greenery tile out, can bump my oxygen up. This I can play, I get six reduction on it. I need 17. I get two mega credit and I get a plant tile out. I feel like it's this one or this one. If I wait one more turn on this one, I get more discount. Uh, I'm gonna play this one, I think, cause it, it will get me some more terraform rating too. Protected Valley, but also if I wait on this one, it, I'll get more steel too, so. Yeah, I think I'm going to go Protective Valley. So uh, we're spending six worth of steel. We need to pay 17 uh, for our mega credits. You guys can still see these. Yeah. Uh, we go up two mega credit production up to seven. Uh, and then we get a greenery tile, which we needed for something. Uh, maybe we don't. No, I guess we don't. Uh, we also get four back from credit core. Let me get that. Let me get the four back from credit core. That's key. Okay. Uh, all right. Where is this tile going? If we put it next to water, we get some more mega credits. I feel like since we want to put that city here, right? Oh. Yeah. 
Yeah, we're planning on putting that city card here, the capital. So like putting greenery tiles next to it helps. I just wish we had some ocean tiles beside it to help. So I probably could just put it here. Oh, but it has to be adjacent to one I own. I own these ones, right? So I have to put it adjacent to those. Uh, let's just go here. For one titanium, one plant. Yeah, we can use titanium. One titanium. One plant. And we plop this down. Oxygen goes up by one. And we go to 24 on our terraform rating. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the right play, Yogi. Just get the, get the titanium off that, right? Okay. Uh, so we have here, let's trade some of this stuff in. We have 11, 11 mega credits. So now that we have titanium, that's eight worth of titanium. Then we just need nine. Yeah, so let's do that. Eight. Throw these away, get one back. Our giant space mirror and our heat production is going to fly up to seven. I think that's it. All right, so uh, production phase, energy goes to heat. Then mega credits, we're getting 24 plus seven, 31. <laughs> 31. Uh, we get one steel, one titanium, no plants, seven energy, and heat, we get six more heats. On her. Okay. Uh, then we bump it up to eight generation, draw four cards. We got magnetic field dome. I mean, we have steel. Our energy production is kind of nuts. This could help us get plants. And we get a terraform rating, which kind of is like increasing mega credits. Mega credit production and final score, I guess, too. It's a big man. I know it's a man. But we need plants. I, I feel like, like, how is our oxygen getting anywhere other than buying it? I guess we just buy it later, right? Because we have this credit core thing. Is that the plan? We just start buying it soon? This is kind of slow, right? Yeah, it's kind of slow. Because it's only going to pay off plants for like... Yeah, I don't know. It's decent. Yeah, yeah, decent. Oh, oh. Speaking of plant production... <laughs> we need to get to minus four here on temperature, though. Uh, minus four on temperature. It's going to take a long time for that. For some trees. So it's more plant production. But we need to get our temperature up fast. Then we have aquifier pumping. You may spend eight mega credits to place one ocean tile. Steel may be used as if you're playing a building card. Oh, there's how we get our ocean tiles going. I mean, we don't have a lot of steel, but it's still something. It makes placing tiles cheaper. For eight only instead of 18. Yes on aquifier. Okay. All right. I, I thought so. I thought so. And methane from Titan. So it needs to be at two oxygen, which we're at. Uh, and, oh, plant production and heat production. So we, we actually, yeah, this is a better plant card, I think. Also makes capital tile more valuable. Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. 28. I don't know. I like this one. It's, it's got, we can get discount from titanium and we get four back because it's over 20. Probably just the last two. I, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. I think trees would take too long. Like we got a good heat engine going, but I feel like it's still going to take too long before this matters. And this one, uh, yeah, kind of lame. 
Yeah, well, let's just keep two of them. Let's get rid of these two. All right, so this will cost us six. Four back. Okay. Yeah, lots of cards, man. Uh, I need to slow down on the card buying maybe it's soon, but I don't know. All right, so let's get some heat. Uh, and eight. Flip one more. Terraform up to 25. Yeah, I think maybe this aquifier pumping to play it for 15. Create some of this back. Easier to see. If I spent 15 on that, leaves me with 12. I have to spend this. 12. Could then get an ocean tile out with it right now, I think. Or I play this, uh, which I get a four discount on, brings it down to 24. I get four back, so it's kind of like I'm only spending 20. My heat production goes up, my plant production goes up. Yes to that one. <laughs> the methane, methane from Titan. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, we're playing methane. Okay, perfect, all right. Uh, so reduce it by four, so 24 I have to spend. So I'll put 25 in here, take one back. Okay, then I get four back, which I'll read that in. Uh, and two heat, one, two heat production, and two plant production. Finally, we're on the plant board here. A little, little late, I think, but mm, still not bad. Okay. Uh, so we got our credit card reduction. All is good there. Okay, so we have seven left. And steel, that's worth three. Which steel only works on these and they're a little out of our price range. So nothing here. This card I could play for three, but don't have enough to then get energy production with it. So... That's it. I think that's it. All right. So energy over. Uh, mega credits of plus seven on top of 25. That is 32. Two. Um, and then one steel. One titanium. Two plants, seven energy, and eight heat. Holy crap. Uh, I'll just put two back. And wow. I like it. Man, never had heat production that high before. I like it a lot. That's cool. All right. Uh, so that's all production. Then we'll move the round marker and next four cards. Round nine. Oh, what's this? I've never seen this card before. The cartel. Increase your mega credit production one step for each earth tag you have. One, two, three. So is eight plus three worth bumping up three? So I have to pay three to get this card. Plus eight, that's 11. And then I bump my mega credit production up by three. So it looks like it kind of just evens out. No, a little bit more. Maybe I get four extra off of it. I don't know. It's okay, but I don't know. It might be good. Every little bump counts, I guess. Uh, this urbanized area. Increase energy. You get a city plus two production. Place the city tile adjacent to at least two other city tiles. Oh. I can't really do that, right? No, 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 that's junk. That's junk. Uh, we get Olympus Conference. 
When you play a science tag, including this one, either add a science resource to this card or remove a science resource from this card to draw a card. Uh, I could see earlier how that might have been nice, but Capital already bumps up Mega Credits. Yeah, I you know, I'll just stick with Capital. And Great Dam. <laughs> Hot damn, the great damn. All right, four oceans needed. We only have, we're going to get a fourth one soon here. We've got to do it because we need it. It's holding us back on other cards too. Uh, and this we could use steel for and bump up energy production. Still good? I feel like, I don't know. I, we still need to go a long way on the heat, but I think that might be good. So I'm like kind of only debating these two. I'm only debating these two. Because this will get us some mega credit production over the course of the game. It's going to get us plus three mega credit production now, but it, it, it costs like eight plus a three to buy it. So 11 invested, but we'll get three, six, nine, 12, 15. So we get, we get a plus four on it. No super cards this round. Yeah, no kidding. And we have plenty of cards to play too. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So no great dam, right? Maybe great dam? <laughs> keep the dam. Okay, we'll keep the dam. I like it. All right. Yeah, it's hard. I, I would say, like, we already have tons, but it's it's like, maybe, I don't know. Like, you kind of want to take in cards that I replace these ones or better or work with them, but. All right. So we need to get an ocean tile out. It's going to be this one. So. We're gonna spend, uh, this is six. And then we spend 12 from here. Get aquifier pumping, which we can spend eight to get an ocean tile, but we could use steel to reduce that cost. But we'll just spend the eight. Do it right now. And we'll put a cube on the card so we know we used it once this turn. And then we'll take Ocean Tile. We're going to place it here for two plants. We're one away from making plants or making another greenery tile. Uh, and that ocean tile will get our terraform rating going up to 26. Now we have four oceans in play, so we're able to play cards like Great Dam and the Capital. Again, steel production. I wish we just had more. There's nowhere I could have got steel with that ocean tile. Yeah, I may have taken too many cards. Um, so capital, only have, yeah, I don't have enough to play capital yet. Really got to do that next turn maybe. I've been holding it way too long. It's not paying off and it's getting too late. Yeah, maybe the dam was pointless. Although I have the money for it. Well, let's do our heat production. Then eight. Heat, heat goes up. Terraform goes up. Uh, heat production goes up to nine. Then we'll do it again. Terraform goes up to 28. Then heat to get the heat production. Yeah, yeah, I almost forgot. <laughs> You can play Heather, you can play another greenery. Oh yeah, because I get a plant tile right now. Yeah, uh, it has to be minus 14 though. I can't play it yet, I'm two away on the temperature. <laughs> ah, son of a... All right. Uh... I feel like I just played great damn. 12. Energy going. I could wait. I get a steal. 
to increase energy production. Well, I'm going to reduce it. But yeah, increasing it maybe is pointless. So I shouldn't have taken the Great Dam then, right? Like, why did I take that? The only thing I was thinking is like, I'm going to reduce it. But then I have energy savings, which I'll bump it right back. Still a lot of heat for temp. Okay. All right, I'm going to play this. I'm going to play this. I, I know I probably shouldn't, but I'm going to play it. For 12. Energy production up to 9. Or, yeah, energy production. Gets me a victory point later, guys. Woo! <laughs> uh, all right. And you now kind of keep... Uh, these we don't need to be on screen. We'll see. Let's just okay. Uh, okay. Four mega credits, not really doing anything. I feel like I'm very like restricted. And I feel like these engines are very scattered. I hope it comes together. We did our ability here. We've done this. Uh, did I miss something? No. Nope. Yeah, I can't play this yet. We're one short here. I think we're good. All right. Uh, so heat, our energy goes to heat. Uh, mega credits. We're getting 7 plus 28, 35. Uh, one steel, one titanium, two on the plants, nine for energy. And nine more for heat. We'll put one back, take a 10. And bump us up to round 10. Ooh, it's getting late. Four cards. All right, Targratis, I can, yeah, I don't care about buying microbes, but it could be a victory point focus card, don't care. Uh, Soleta, whoa, hello. <laughs> I have titanium, but uh, I don't know. Seven. Uh, Yogi Bears, I forget what the bonus for placing around cities or something with greenery. Uh, so a city is worth like zero victory points, but for every greenery beside it, the city goes up by a victory point. That's how I, I say it, but yeah. So if I put that city here and I put like two or three greeneries beside it, it's worth going to be only three victory points. Yeah, I don't know. Soleta seems like I want it, but it's only so many rounds left, but I mean... That, that's some heat production. Holy. It would be like all I'm doing. I don't know. Maybe. It wouldn't even be until like next round anyway. Uh, but we also have water important from water import from Europa. You can pay 12 mega credits and you can use titanium to pay for it to buy ocean tiles. So it's similar to the other one I have, but this is titanium. I don't know. I have ocean tiles. I have five left, but I do have a way to get one. Whoops, I got to clear that off. I do have a way to get one for money. So, uh, but we only have one, two, three, four, five more. Oh, we can do it just off that card. So we don't, we don't need this card. Don't care. And yeah. Corporate stronghold. 11 cost. You get a city. You reduce energy, but you increase mega credit. I don't know. This is just all victory point stuff at this point. I understand the mega credit production could be helpful. Because we, we're going to need to spam these uh, pro general projects to kind of catch up. So mega credit production is huge. But I think... I don't know. I'm thinking not even keeping this one. Maybe only this one. Just to get our mega credits up. Reduce our energy. We have steel. We can make this card pretty cheap. 
and it could help us buy standard projects later. I don't know, corporate strongholds when I'm feeling. A cost of 11, it takes more than three rounds to pay for itself. Is that what it is? I do have steel though, so I, I, I steel's worth three, so it just kind of cancels the cost of the card. Yeah, you're right. And I have one, no, it would only be one, two, three, four rounds. Okay, so maybe just not worry about any of them. And you steal for the ocean. Yeah, true. Okay, so we're just dumping them all. I'm dumping them all. I don't care. I have stuff to play. We're, we're dumping it. We're dumping. We're dumping. Okay. We're on round 10, right? Yeah. We, yeah, we already have a way to spend steel anyway. And here we have a way to spend steel. So yeah, let's, let's forget it. We only have so many rounds left. All right. Let's, uh, hmm, we need to get oxygen going huge. And temperature is still behind, I think. All right. So, uh, let's do temperature stuff, right? And eight. Goes up by one. Terraform to 29. Do it again. Minus 14. Up to 30 on Terraform rating. Uh, so, now we're at minus 14. We could play this one. Plant production. I mean, it could make it possible to get another greenery tile out of this with time, like with the rest of the game left, but I still don't know. So anyways, let's spend these. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. And we're gonna get a greenery tile. We got to put it beside a uh, tile we own. Oh, maybe I don't do this yet. Maybe I don't do this yet. Maybe I don't. Yeah, I think I need to put that city in first, right? So I can put it beside it. Yes, 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 yes. But if I can put an ocean in first, hold on. I spent eight, put water in, and I play this minus three, so 23. Have that, I get four back. Yeah, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna spend eight to get some water going. Use once. Let's get an ocean tile. Uh, this ocean tile is going to go here, get a plant, our terraform goes up, okay, then we're going to play capital, which we have four ocean tiles, uh, we're going to reduce it by steel of three, thanks to our advanced alloys bonus, so that brings it down to 23, spend 30, get seven back, okay, I also get the reduction because it's, it's, I get four back from credit core's ability. I lose two energy production. I increase mega credit production by five. That will put me at 12 mega credit production. And then I get this city, which I'll slap here. And I get four mega credits because it's beside Two oceans. I also get two plants from placement bonus. And then one additional victory point for each ocean tile adjacent to the city tile, which there's going to be three, hopefully. Uh, so it could help us with victory points later. But. Yeah, so that's the plan. That's the plan. I just figure I get some money from it now by putting it there. Uh, okay. I don't know. That's my theory. Maybe it isn't the most efficient, but. All right. Uh, now. 
this one I can possibly afford. So this is how I kind of get my energy production back. So if I play this one for 15, I increase my energy production by three. So to make up for the two reduction I just did. So each city tile, one, two, three. Or I play Heather. We get some plants going. No, I can still put out a plant tile. Hold on. Uh, yeah, I don't have enough to do two this turn. Yeah, maybe we do this because it'll it'll pay into mega credits. Yeah. Yeah, let's do Heather. Plants first. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, you guys are on it. All right. Uh, so for six, Heather is going to increase plant production to three and give us a plant. Okay, now we're going to take that action of spending eight plants, get a greenery tile, has to be placed adjacent to something we own, which this should go here actually. So we get two plants uh, from placement bonus. Then we get four mega credits, two for each ocean we put it beside. Okay, it's gonna help make this city now worth one victory point here, plus has some extra extra victory points here. So the city is now worth three victory points. Okay, great. Uh, now we have, uh, what do we got here? 14, oh, one shy of this, one shy of this. <clears throat> So what we do is sell this. I sell this card that I've been sitting on forever. I'm gonna sell. Oh yeah, sorry, oxygen goes up. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Almost forgot that. Wow, thank you. Uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll sell that card for one. Now we're at 15. I'll play energy saving for 15. And our energy production goes up by each city tile in play. So one, two, three. This will go up to 11. Rank it up to 11. Look at the green cards, holy, so many. Oh, it should be at four? Remember these aren't mine, these aren't mine. Let's check, we can check. Oh, I, I, like I placed two. I have two I own, so that's that counts for two of it, but I think I did it some other way also. Oh, not in there. Oh man, what did I do? I think there was a way in here I did. Oh, it was an event, probably. <laughs> Looking at all these cards and none of them even did anything. Ah, there's one. So we're at three. Yeah, just three. Yeah, just three, just three. Yeah, so we're okay at three, we're okay at three. I wish we were at four. <laughs> yeah, we did one off an event. Or whatever they're called, those cards. The one-time play cards. All right. So yeah, greenery. Uh, did we get enough plants to do another one? No, we're one short here on plants. Ah, uh, one short here on plants. Okay. That's all we got right now. Cards are gone. Uh, we're gonna convert energy to heat. Uh, we're gonna remove this cube off of here, so we can use that card again. Uh, mega credits are thirty-two plus twelve. Uh, is 44? 44. Uh, one steel, one titanium. Three plants. So let's just get rid of two, take a five. Uh, energy is 11. And heat is nine more. Get rid of one, take a 10. Uh, rounds going to 11 and four more cards. 
Yeah, remember two of those forest tiles are not ours. That's why I put the tokens on them. I'm kind of doing it backwards. So these are the neutral setup ones. All right. What do we got here? We got power supply consortium. You need at least two energy tags. I got like four of them, so we're good. Uh, you can take away my invisible opponent's energy to increase our energy up by one for five. And at this point, I don't really care, but I'm getting a little worried about the temperature still because I'm only like bumping it up like two every round. That's not really fast enough unless our mega credits help us here just pay for it but we gotta behave for greenery tiles too i don't think we're gonna win this that's how i feel i don't know maybe maybe that energy production is worth it i don't, I don't know where were you a long time ago so this could have helped us earlier generate some steel production would have been nice but at this point, I don't even have cards to play for it, so that's fine. What else we got here? Imported hydrogen. You get three plants or three microbes or three animals. And you get to place an ocean tile. So I have titanium. So ocean tiles normally cost me 18. So with the titanium I have right now, I can reduce this by 12. This card only cost me like four mega credits to get an ocean tile is how I look at it. And the plants could help me get to another greenery tile. I'm keeping this one, I think. Keeping this one. Now, what's this one? Uh, Aerobract Ammonia Asteroid. So, I have Titanium. This gives me a couple microbes I don't care about. They don't, they're useless to me. Heat production goes up. Plant production goes up. Mm hmm. I don't know. Is that worth it? Is it too late? I'm in round 11. That heat and plants, like, enough? Something. Garbage? Maybe? I get four back on playing it, but... Uh, like, what else? Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep one card. Yeah, I'll just keep one card. Actually, no. This one i probably keep two, because energy... Bumping up energy, still we need, still need help with the temperature, I think. And bumping up energy normally costs 11. This card will cost us a total of 8 to get an energy. So it's like a discount. And we still have a few rounds of energy going up. Maybe that can get us the temperature we need. I feel like we should have this. Like, I feel like our heat and energy is crazier than I've ever seen it. What do you need to win? Plants and heat. Use the cash for greenery. Yeah. Instead, okay, all right, I'll just trash them all. Except for this one. I'm gonna spend three on imported hydrogen. Okay, let's play imported hydrogen. Uh, reducing it by titanium, which is normally three each, but we have advanced alloys. This is a 12 discount, right? 12, and we spend four from our mega credits and we get three plants I think is very important for us and one ocean tile which will increase our terraform rating and this ocean tile we're going to get some extra victory points off the city play here and we get two mega credit bonus by placing it beside an ocean and we get one plant by putting it here that's the right play okay that card wasn't 20 or more. Okay. Now, let's do some heat. Heat goes up. Terraform goes up. 34. Do it again. Actually, minus 5. Uh, heat goes up. Minus 10. Terraform up to 35. Um... Plant? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Greenery tile. Where did that go? Greenery tile. So here, oxygen goes up, terraform goes up. We get two plants. 
Uh, and two mega credits because of water. Beam beside water, right? Use aquifer on. Oh, okay. Oh, maybe I should have placed some tiles first, some some water first. I got yeah, I got to do the pumping. Ah, oh, shoot, I messed that up. So three plus five. So we'll say I had an ocean here, right? Ocean up there for me. I put this here, two plants, and we'll say I had that there. So when I placed the greenery tile, I got an another two mega credits. Yeah, I should I should do the water first. I forgot about that. I forgot about this aquifer pumping. I also could have done an another aquifer, but again, I I, I want to only use this ability for it because it's cheaper. So I don't want to put another one with this ability. Uh, this ability, I need to do greenery tiles. Let's do some greenery tiles. So greenery is 23. Oh, wait, I have more here. Now I have eight plants. Do another greenery tile. Let's place it here. Or a plant under it. Uh, and two mega credits off of ocean tiles. Did I do the oxygen bump? I don't think I did the oxygen bump. Yeah, oxygen bump. And that terraforming goes up. I think I got it all. I think I got it all. Use the aquifer on a double plant space. You can play two green rings. Hey, Rob. Uh, so, Zach, have you ever thought about playing the first Martians campaigns? I don't know what that is. I heard a lot of people had trouble learning first Martians, but those that finally did enjoyed it. Well, that doesn't make me really want to get into it. <laughs> uh, Never mind, the first green area was enough. Awesome. Look, look, Loquitur, if I can say that right, I will say it wrong. Uh, you'll get the last ocean from the heat track before the game. Oh, yes. Yes, you're right. I forgot about that. Yep. And this, I get temperature up here if I can get there. Yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. So I only need to use this one more time. I only need to use this one more time. And we'll have some titanium or some steel for it next round. So that makes it even better. So now let's get greeneries on the board, right? Um, so that cost 23, but we get four back. So we'll just throw away one, take a five. Okay. Greenery tile. We're using the standard project. And I have to put this beside a tile I own. So thinking over here for two plants. Or down here for four mega credits, because I do own this tile. So I could put this here for four mega credits, which I'm at 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. If I can get two more mega credits, I, I can do another greenery tile. Oh, I could put it up here for a steel, actually. That could be better for next round for this, makes this cheaper. Yeah, yeah, let's do it here. For steel. Steel. And I get four mega credits for putting it beside the water. Oxygen up by one, terraforming up by one. Uh Rizard says, you should hurry. I have a match to watch in 12 minutes. Listen here. <laughs> I am not quick at this game. I'm a noob. Leave me alone. I'm having fun. I know, I know what you're saying. You could always watch later. You could always watch later. <laughs> Available and archive on YouTube. Just remember where you were at in the video. Uh, does the water count or no? Okay. Uh, let's do another greenery. Oh, I'm dropping the wrong ones in the wrong buckets. And oh, I might have forgotten another refund. But I'm definitely taking four back right now. Maybe I forgot a refund. Rob versus Mars, yeah. Uh, water can go anywhere on the board. I don't have to put it adjacent. Okay, so I paid for another greenery. I got my refund. I may have forgot one refund in there, being excited. Uh, for credit core. So the, the greenery still has to be adjacent to a tile I own. 
if possible, which there is lots, lots of possibilities. Uh, so I could get some plants. I can also, oh, I can get it right here. No, I don't own this tile. Need to get some bonuses. Yeah, it looks like the bonuses are either here or four more money. I think I'll go for the plants. Yeah, because if I get two more plants, I'll be at five. I generate three, so that'll be enough to get another greenery tile next. Yeah, we're going to go for plants. Two plants. For the placement bonus. <laughs> Darren, you can always go back and watch again later. <laughs> and just scrub through the parts where I'm like super confused about stuff or we're deciding on buying cards for 10 minutes. Uh, damn work getting in the way. <laughs> The ocean doesn't count as for placement, I'm assuming. Uh, oh, yeah, and oxygen. Thank you. Terraform. Oxygen, terraform. Hey, Matt. Uh, did I forget any... I may have forgot oxygens. Hold on. We know there's one in the events. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're on seven. Okay, we're good. I think we're good with the oxygen. Uh, but I did miss one there. Yeah, definitely. I forget that. I get so excited. Like trying to already play in the next green retile and I forget that step. Okay. Um, I think that's all we really can do. All right, heat, or energy becoming heat. Uh, we're taking the cube off this card. We're going to get 40, 50, 52 mega credits. Yeah, cha-ching. 52 mega credit production, one steel, one titanium, uh, three on the plants. So let's just take away two and get a five. Uh, energy is 11. And heat, we get nine more. I'll just take away a one and take a 10. Oh, no, no, that moved over. Yeah, yeah, never mind. Round 12, four more cards. We have two more rounds after this, it looks like, if we did all that right. Keep farming. So we need six oceans on the board, which we have. You get two mega credit production, three plant production, two plants, 17 cost. I feel like that's kind of still good. I could be wrong. Because we're spending like 23 minus four, so 19 to do a greenery. This gets us three, two more times. So six plus two. So this does get us a greenery tile, if I'm mathing it right, for, oh, but we gotta spend three on it right now, so 20. No, it's not good. We, we can do it cheaper. We can do it cheaper. No. <laughs> Engine building and resource management on Mars, says BitJam. Yeah, that's the tagline. Uh, seven science. Get out of here. No, I have like two. Uh, that's not. We're not even reading that card. Three science. Not even reading that card. Nope. Although no. Mining expedition. Yeah, the requirements on these are out of our league. I think so. Let's not worry about it. This one costs twelve to play. Minus two plant production to increase your steel, but you do get an oxygen out of it. Is this something I play to get our last ox? Some of our oxygen going. It only costs twelve. I know reducing plant production right now is bad, but maybe on, we keep this for the last round. Maybe I keep this for like the last round uh, after plant production is useless. I'm buying it. Because to me, that is like 12 for raising oxygen. Yeah, we don't get the victory points from the plant, but... Oh, it's removed from opponent. Oh, you're right. And it's not production, it's resources. Yeah, yeah, this is very great. I'm playing it right now. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. We can choose our opponent. And it's not production. There's no brown behind it. I do forget that sometimes. I know you guys were talking about that earlier. But yeah, it's just lose two plant resources from anyone, and we can choose our imaginary opponent. Oh, yeah. And we get steel, which helps us with this. For one last time. Yeah. Well, the only other thing here was maybe this for plant production and some plants. But I still feel like we do it cheaper with money, so 
I'm going to say no. Okay, let's just play this for 12. 20. Back 8. So minus 2 plants from nobody, plus 2 steel. We just get 2 steel. Okay, and then we're going to increase our oxygen, which goes up 1. And we also get a temperature bump to minus 8. And that bumps us up one on terraforming, right? Okay. Now let's do some heat while we're here. So we'll just do one at a time here so I don't get confused, which I do. Uh, so we spend eight, temp up, terraform rating up. Uh, let's do it again. Temp up, it's minus four, terraform up. And let's do it one more time. Oops. Temp up to minus two, terraform up. So close to that last ocean tile. Ah! All right, uh, ocean tile, we're gonna spend, uh, so these are worth three each. So we'll just spend nine from our steel, thanks to it being bumped up. We don't get change back on it though, but that's fine. Uh, to get an ocean tile out. And this ocean tile, I feel like going here for mega credits. Yeah, we're going to go here, get a plant, get four mega credits. And it does something else, goes up a terraform. I feel like I forgot to do that a couple times on oceans, but I could be wrong. Ocean tile for lucky card. Oh, I see what you're saying. I don't know. I feel like my greenery is like any plant resources I can get is important. Yeah, getting a card though could be good too. But it could be trash. I don't know. I don't have a lot of faith in the deck so far after today. Oh, what did I do? What's not an ocean spot? Oh, here is ocean. This isn't. Sorry, this isn't. You, you just meant this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. No, this is ocean up here. This is ocean up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a lucky card I thought you meant. I may have said this one, but I meant this one. Yeah, yeah. I, there is one still that you can get cards off of. Yeah. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, there's not a lot of useful cards. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm not worried about it. I needed my oxygen up. So unless I pulled something that's like straight up oxygen. Yeah. All right. So what we're going to do, uh, let's do a greenery tile. And this greenery tile, I feel like we're going to put right here. Yeah, let's just put it here. We get two plants. We go up oxygen, which bumps up our terraform to 47. For oxygen, we need one more. One, two, three, four, five more. Ooh, okay. Uh, so now let's A for some greeneries, right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, 23. But we get four back. Greenery tile. Going again for some more plants. Two plants. Oxygen up. Terraform up. We should have enough money, I think, to do this. Uh, okay, so we have enough again. So let's do 10, 23. We get four back. Another greenery tile.
I'm going to put it here. So we'll get one plant. We'll get four mega credits because we put it against two oceans. And I own this tile, so I can put it there. Oxygen, terraform, 49. I think that's it. Good bump up energy production, but I feel like that's a waste. Yeah, so we're good. Uh, end of generation, we're sliding over 11 here. Uh, this cube can go off. Um, mega credits, we get 12 plus 49 is 62. Oh, we put these back, take a five, whoops. Old cubes, yes, yes. 61, I'm a cheater. All right, let's go break this up. Oh yeah, 51, oh, 61. Thank you, my math, I, you guys know. All right, just trying to get that little extra in there. <laughs> All right, so one steel. One titanium, three plants, so we'll just take away a two, get a five. Uh, this is 11 on energy and heat, another nine, so take away a one. Uh, round 13, four cards, four. All right, what do we got here? Greenhouses. Oh, I mean, that's not horrible. One, one plant for every city. Oh, it's only three plants. Three plants for like nine resources. I don't think so. Oh, but I do have steel to pay for it, actually. I do have steel to pay for this. Uh, for basically making it almost free. Yeah, only for three. Yeah, maybe I do that. That's, it basically makes it three mega credits for three plants, which is like almost half of a greenery tile. I'm sure you can do the math there and find out if it's worth it or not, but I feel like it's okay. Unless I have some other reason to spend steel. Let's look at this one. Has to be at least minus 12. We're good. We're above minus 12 on the temperature. Uh, we have steel to play for it. It gives us an animal plus three plants and two mega credit production and a victory point. Yeah, not really. No. All right, we got standard technology. This is six standard projects. After you play a standard project, except selling patents, you gain three mega credits. Oh, where were you? This would have been amazing. Like two rounds ago. Where were you? <laughs> Man. Ah. All those greenery tiles, that could have been an extra, that's like a seven back from Credit Core. Hmm. We haven't done much else. I think, yeah, we didn't really do any of these other ones, but still, all those greenery tiles. Ah, where were you? Where were you? <laughs> yeah, one of the best cards in solo play? I can see it. Yeah, you just need it early, right? Or at least like mid-game. Mid-game, I feel like it would be good. Local heat trapping for one, minus five energy production to get plus four plants. Or no, minus five energy, not production, just energy tokens. I, I don't think so. I don't think so. All right. I'm just going to quickly run to the washroom. I'll be right back while we think about these and we'll make our choices in a second. BRB. Thank <laughs> you. 
Darren says, is it just me or is it absolutely adorable that Robin Mel called the washroom? Yeah, just growing up, it's like when you're in a public place, you call it washroom. Uh, but at home, it's like the bathroom. It just feels weird on a live stream to say bathroom. I don't know. Bathroom is like a weird word. Washroom is like the more professional kind of way to say it. I don't know. And I feel like I'm in live streaming, that kind of thing. That's Yeah, that's the little story behind that, I guess. Yeah, that's weird. I should just say taking a bio break or something. That's something. <laughs> he used to say at work a lot. Got to step out of the meeting for a bio break. WC. Uh, I suspect is a Canadian thing. I don't think they can say toilet. <laughs> Going to the crapper. <laughs> All right. Uh... Oh yeah, going to download some apps. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Usually, yeah, go and play on the phone for a bit. Harmarai says, must be Canadian thing. I'm Canadian. Washroom is used all the time. Yeah, it's just something like, yeah, you just say it. Maybe it is, yeah. Yeah. Like when you're, when you're talking about buying a house, it's like it has this many bathrooms, this many bedrooms. Oh, the restroom. Yeah, that's another one. Yeah, restroom. Restroom and washroom are like the same. Like it's like kind of like a public thing. You're just like, I'm just gonna run to the washroom. <laughs> Bathroom just sounds like uh, I don't know. Sneakers or tennis shoes? Uh, sneakers definitely. Tennis shoes. Seems too specific. Most of the stores I go in, all oh, the shoes are for running, walking. There's boots, you know, dress up, whatever. It's like, I don't know. I guess there's like, yeah. Adam says, I just go to the can. I love it. I love these side conversations. This is awesome. <laughs> I do feel weird saying it anything. I just see it. Usually that's why I just go to a break. I'll be right back. Or grabbing another drink. Yeah, it's just awkward. I don't know what to do. Anyways. <laughs> uh, yeah. O or... The other thing I call is my other office where I'm going to get some work done. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. So uh, we were talking about keeping some, I mean, if, if we're going to still, we're buying only three more greeneries. So this I feel is knock is just going to even out. So I feel like that's pointless. I don't feel like getting plants right now is worth it. We have two more rounds, like this round and the next one. I feel like we could buy enough of these. We know the heat's gonna pop this off. Now it's all just for points and, and goofiness, right? I feel like it at this point. So like m maybe this one? Just for the victory point on the card? I, I don't think so though, right? I don't really care. Yeah, locator. That's that's what I say. Yeah, or flag another rule book. You know, flag it. Seinfeld taking it in the washroom. I'm getting very red. Yeah, yeah. This is awkward. <laughs> oh man, it's the white balance. It's the white balance. All right, so I'm not going to take any of those cards. Although there's probably an argument for taking some of them for victory point purposes. Because yeah, if I got some plants, I I still at the last production. Uh, leftover money, no, leftover money is not worth points. 
The only thing you get to do at the end is I could, uh, any plants, if I have enough to do the plant action, it's like the last kind of thing you can do. So any of those cards that just had plants on them, if I mathed it out, I'm sure taking some plants like off this card and you know, uh, like this card, getting some plants and victory points, like this one maybe, it could give me enough plants if I counted it out that maybe I get one final greenery tile down, which if it's beside a city I own, it's worth more victory points, but it's still worth a victory point. Yeah, maybe I'll just take this one for fun. Yeah, yeah, I'll just take this one for fun. It's all fine. Hopefully I don't run out of money to do other stuff to still win the game because we haven't won it yet. But I'll throw the other ones away. Because we do have steel, so this isn't the, the worst thing. And we don't need to do this action anymore. So steel, the steel's like useless unless I use it. Take that for fun. Then when you lose, we can complain. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, it's going to help. You'll see. All right. Uh, so now we're going to go to actions. Uh, so we'll definitely generate some heat. Uh, so let's do it once. Goes up to zero. We get a terraforming point. We get an ocean tile. Our last one, which will get us up another terraform rating to 51. Uh, this will go... We do the random card for jokes, or we go here... No, we'll go here for the plants and the money. So it gets us two plants for the placement, two money for being beside another ocean. And now all the oceans are in play. So we're done that global parameter. We have one out of three done. Let's try to get the other ones done here. Uh, let's go up heat again. So we can clean these up and put a five there. Uh, heat's going up again and will bump us up to 52. And this is like our base victory point score at the end. Now that we're getting close to the end. This, this matters. This will be our base victory points or this. Plus we start adding victory points up for um, cities and greenery tiles. And then plus any victory points we calculate from cards. But I feel like most of the victory points we have in our cards were all like negatives. <laughs> so not really great. Put that money into, yeah, let's get that green and turn it into green. All right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, so let's just use the action here to make a greenery tile for eight. Okay, greenery tile. Has to go adjacent to a tile we own. And if I could, I should maybe build a city, right? Kind of put a city like in here or something. Ah. If I put a city down, I could, I could start putting greenery tiles around it. Maybe just slapping a city in here would be not bad. Yeah, let's put it in here. For one plant. Oxygen up one. Terraform up one. We have six plants. Let's do this. For six worth of steel, we need to spend 10. Okay, we're at minus 12. We're good here. Uh, we get three plants. And we go up two mega credit production. And we'll get one victory point at the end of the game out of this card, whatever. Uh, but the key is with the plants, we can spend eight more. Do another green retile. Put two cubes in plants that should have gone to money. Oh, did I? Oh, well, good. I have extra here. I got extra. Thank you. Okay. I think we fixed it. Less plants. Okay, well, we're good. We're good. Yeah, I had two extra there. I just moved them up to here. But I think we're okay. Uh, so, yeah, thank you. I messed that up. Saved. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, we're even out still. We're still good with that card. Uh, so this, this plant, or green retile. I mean, I should have put the city already, but I think we're still okay. Oh yeah, I want to put the city in here. Oh, that's fine. I still do it. Yep, 
Yeah, we'll just put it here. No placement bonus. Uh, oxygen, this goes up. Uh, I want to do the city action here. I keep forgetting to do this. Uh, let's do 25. But we get... Oh, I'm, I'm forgetting to take my 4 back from that one. Oh, no, I did it with this. Never mind. So now I take 4 back uh, from the city. We're going to put a city tile down, which increases our mega credit production. Yeah, I keep forgetting that this has a mega credit production increase. Because if you build cities earlier, then it can focus where you're putting stuff around it. That's one I'm, I'm not great with. But yeah. Hey, Rory. Rory says, how are you liking this game? I like it solo. I, it's okay. I, I, the game is good. It definitely is good. I don't know if I would say top fourth board game of all time, top three on solo. I really like the solo though. I know there's expansions. Maybe that's why it's rated higher. I'm only playing with base game. But the gameplay is great. Good game. I like it. I like it. I do. But just the graphic design, the component quality is trash. The fact I had to spend like $20 to upgrade the player boards kind of sucks uh, when you already feel like I overpaid for the game. But I feel like there's better games out there, but it is a good game. If, you, if you're okay with a the theme, which there isn't really much of it. Yeah. Now that's a legacy game though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's good. I like it. It's fine. If you can get it on sale, if you can get it on sale, it's it's decent. It's definitely worth it if you can find a group to play with or if you just play it solo, it's fine. And I just still don't understand why it's like so through the roof. Like everyone loves it so much. But I'm having a great time today playing with all of you, experiencing new cards that I've never seen, still having fun. I'm still new to it, right? And I see how over time you play it more and more. You get used to cards. You can combo stuff. You know what you're digging for. You know what you're going to see. Uh, you know, messing with the other players on the board here can be kind of fun. And there's expansions, there's lots of expansions, so I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you missed the beginning uh, where we, uh, the setup told us to uh, destroy the crappy garbage uh, player mats that are like a horrible, I can't believe these are in the game. Like this got through play testing, multiple printings, they still are putting these in the game. Uh, it, it told us to rip it up and replace it with something decent, so we did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> you missed the old cube card getting the treatment. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so city tile is going somewhere. Uh, it's going in here. In here. We're going to get some victory points around it. All right. And our last greenery tile we need to do is going to cost us 23 but we get four back. Did I just do that? I think I did it. Uh, and green retail, which will go here. We get two steel. Oh, I probably should have did all this before. Yeah, never mind, whatever. All right, I'm doing things out of weird order, but we get two steel for placement and oxygen up, terraforming up to 55. So we've completed oxygen, we completed ocean, oceans. Yeah, it's a good game. I just, it's like very, like, man, I must have like a rabid fan base. Or the employees are like hacking board game geek rankings or something. Like, there's got to be something to it. Or like they paid, they paid the guys to like edit the code in the back of BGG to bump their game up. But yeah, it's a fine game. It's fine. I feel it's just overpriced for the components you get. But you can get lots of gameplay hours out of it if you can get past the like, you know, if you're okay with the space Mars terraforming theme, which I know a lot of people like, some people just don't even care it's there. Um, but yeah, it's fine. It's definitely fine. It's got its charm. It's got its charm. Yes, it does feel like a Walmart production, and it, but it's priced at like a normal game. Like, yeah. Yeah. But anyways. All right. But if you can get it on sale... And this engine building appeals to you, and you're okay with the space stuff. That's good. And Yogi Bear says, I've enjoyed hating on this game for years. Yeah, I've just been hating on it for like a year or so. But now I have it, so I can hate on it even more in person, so it's good. Before I was just hating on it from afar. <laughs> but it's fun, it's fun.
Add up your heat production, energy production, make sure you got enough next turn. Good call, Edward, because I may need to buy some extra, right? Um, so I have five here. I have 11 going in. I need it's eight per. So that's enough to get the two. And then I need one more, which, yes, I have nine generated here. So, yes, I have enough for the um, heat. I have enough for the heat. A good call. And we have 19 mega credits. I probably should have tried to grab some cards. I mean, we'll get some cards to look at. Maybe we can find some late victory points here. I could just bump the heat up. Oh yeah, sorry, not energy production. Bump the heat up with asteroids, right? I don't need to. We'll save it for cards. We'll save it for cards. Or cities. Yeah, I did a weird thing here. Uh, this is kind of weird what I did. I don't know. All right, uh, we'll end the round. We're going to put our um, energy into heat. Uh, we'll get our mega credits, which is 55 plus uh, 15. 70? 70? 70 mega credits. Yeah, building cities and some greeneries maybe would be good uh, to kind of like get some more points off these greeneries and stuff. Yeah, I did some weird stuff there. I don't know. Maybe we see Noctis City. Isn't that a card in here? Maybe we see it. And that would be cool. I don't, I don't know what the requirements on that card are. I don't even know what that card says, but... That would be kind of a wicked card to get and then place some greeneries around it. Uh, we get one steel, one titanium. Oh, I bumped my plants. Is it three? Yeah, I think it's three on the plants. Uh, and we have 11 energy. And we're gonna get nine on the heat production. And we're in round 14, 14th generation, last four cards. Black Polar Dust, mm, useless. Solar Wind Power, mm, useless. Birds, 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 birds. So the most we can do in this final round is add one animal to this card, uh, and we would get one point for that animal. So we could spend 10 on this card plus three right now, and we would get a point. Mm. I mean, that's cheaper than putting a greenery tile out. But I think we go for cities for fun. Let's play some board game. Let's play, a, let's play the board game in the board game. Uh, land claim, what is this? For one, place your marker on a non-reserved area. Only you may place a tile there. Uh, yeah, in solo that's kind of lame. But I, that's a cool card. I didn't know that was in the game. That could be fun in multiplayer. Yeah, I feel like in multiplayer, I never even played with these cards yet. Like, I haven't seen a lot of these cards because I only put them in now for solo. More points from greenery? Amazing. Yeah, yeah, let's just throw these away. Okay. So let's just go. Let's go ham. Uh, so let's get our temperature up. Do this right. So we're going to spend 24, oops, 24 to bump our temperature up three times. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, one heat left. Um, oops. Then we're got the global parameters are done. So officially we won the game. No worries, Darren. See you later. Uh, we won the game. Now we're going to just use this last round, spend some money, turn it into stuff on the board, right? Uh, so we're saying a city. Can't put a city in here because it's adjacent to another city. You're not allowed. Uh, but I can put a city here or here. No, I can't put it here. It's another city. I think I put a city there, right? Uh, which cost me 25. But, whoops, but I get four back. Let's get rid of this one. Uh, city tile. 
throw it here. I get a plant. And now we'll do greenery for 23. But I get four back because of credit core. Oh, I forgot my mega credit production boost, which doesn't really matter. Off the city. Uh, greenery tile. Uh, right here. Okay, no oxygen bump because you can't keep going, which means no terraform rating. You don't get a terraform rating. If you can't move these things, you don't go up at all. So we're, we maxed out on bumping up by doing those things. And we'll do another greenery tile for basically 19. As we get the refund from Credit Core. And we'll put this here, which gives us another plant. Terraforming times TR times three for the heat. Oh, I did that already. I did that already. Yeah, I did that already really quick. Isn't Credit Core only a refund for cards? No, 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 no. I'm pretty sure after you pay for a card or a standard project with basic costs of 20 mega credits or more, you gain four mega credits. So yeah, if you do greenery or city, those are our standard projects that are 20 or more. Yeah, so it's, it's card or standard project. Yeah, yeah. But we're definitely putting it to use. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I wish, I wish it was for like a any standard project, but it's not. It's just the ones that cost 20 or more. So it really should just kind of say like greenery or city, you kind of get a discount. Like it should be more specific, but I guess there's probably other expansion boards and stuff that maybe change that or something. I don't know. Or cards where it needs to be written that way. It's still very clear. Uh, okay, let's do another greenery. We're going to pay 23 but we get four back, which will just throw away one and take a five. This one, we get, no, we can't get enough. See a spot to put it really? That's gonna get us any kind of crazy extra points. We get some mega credits by putting it in here four of them, but that's still not enough to get another another tile. I, I, I want to get some plants, but the most plants we can get is one. I can't put it here because it's not beside a tile I own. We can only get one more plant, which is only puts us at six plants. I feel like it doesn't matter too much. We'll just put it here. Normally, if it was my opponent, I wouldn't want to be putting green retiles beside their city because it helps them with points but in solo it doesn't matter we'll just put that there we'll just get one plant i think we're done so i feel like in a final production i don't think any of this matters you just if you had eight plants you could you could spend them left of red greenery yeah, no, yeah, no, this is opponents, yeah. I don't own a tile near this one. I know, it feels weird. I, I keep wanting to put it there too. Or like down here, there's two titanium, but I don't need the titanium. Or the card draw, I want to put it here, but it's like, <laughs> I can't. Cause I, I, I should have built like one here, because then I could have put it there. But like I did some things wrong with greenery tiles here, that I could have been more efficient with the city. And then I could have maybe put some greenery tiles here to help get me a card. But that's eh, okay. All right. Buying a city is two victory points, a greenery only one, right? Uh, a city is, each greenery tile is worth one victory point and each city tile is worth one victory point for each greenery around it, regardless of who owns the greeneries. So the most I think you can make a city is six victory points by having six things around it. But this city is kind of cool because I get a victory point uh, I get something else extra. I get like, oh yeah, I get a victory point for the oceans beside this city, plus the greeneries. This is like a special city, so that'll be cool. Oh, instead of the last greenery? Oh yeah, you're right. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Where did I put that? Right here, right? Yeah, I see what you're saying. So if I spend uh, two more, more 
I could do a city instead. And I could go here for three victory points. No, I can't go beside a city. Can't go beside that city. Where can I go? I, I don't know if there's a spot I can go to get victory points. I, I can get one victory point. No, greenery went up the red city. Oh, this one? Did I do this one? This one I did? Upper left. Upper left? Over here? Oh, right here, right here. Right? That'll get me two? Okay, we're good. Okay. Yeah, so that'll get me two victory points instead of one for the plant. Ah, see, this, this part of the game, it's like, I need work. I definitely need work. Need to like study it or something or figure it out or play it a bunch more times, right? And the multiplayer is like a whole different game, right? Because then you're battling with other people and yeah, that's next level stuff. I, I haven't evolved in this game enough, which the game has more like you're going to spend hours trying to master this game. Multiple play sessions, which is nice. Or... I place it. No, I'm not allowed to place it there. It's okay. It's okay. That's all good. I'm sure there's other crazy things you can do. Yeah, production. So production. Uh, slide over. Uh, we get 58 plus 16, 16 74. Five, six, seven. One here, uh, one here, three. Oh yeah, then I have enough for plants, right? Because you do it after that, right? 11, four here. Yeah, so now after production, I think I get one chance to do this, right? Uh, you always place, After generation 14, you may convert plants into greenery tiles, following normal rules, with, but without raising oxygen. Yeah, so I, I can put one more greenery down. Can put one more greenery. Hmm. Which I would just put here. Yeah, around the city I just placed, perfect. Uh, so I think, I don't know if I get placement bonuses, but I don't think it matters. So I take two for the thing and one for the plant. All right, done, finally. And usually this game is quicker. I definitely played the solo game pretty quickly the last couple days, even like kind of learning too. Uh, obviously chatting with the chat. Do not judge uh, this three and a half hour stream is like how long a solo game takes. You definitely can play it in like 90 minutes-ish. Two hours tops, I would say. Even, even if you're like analysis paralysis, stuck in every card decision and trying to math out every single like counting rounds and will this card pay off, will that card pay off, you can get as mathy and as analysis paralysis as you want with the game, which is cool, especially solo when no one's around, who cares? Um, but the game plays pretty quick once you know what you're doing. Uh, but obviously I'm still kind of new to it too. All right. Um, so... Uh, let's total up victory points. Let's total up victory points. Um, oh, good. Total up victory points. So, at the calculator. All right, calculator. Um, so, we have 58. 58 on this one here 58 uh, is our base and then we don't get awards or milestones they don't matter in solo and then it's uh the map so greenery tiles we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen uh, at 73 and then city tiles so this one's worth four Five, six, seven, 
And this one is another six, so that's 13. Plus 13. And what else? Cards. Let's look through our cards. Let's see what we got. Minus two. <laughs> Oh, man. plus two. Okay, okay. I canceled that out. These are our events. So you flip those over at the end of the game and kind of see what you got. We already did the capital. We already did the capital. I counted those oceans in. We can just throw that to the side for now. Oh, we got one off this. One off this. Oh, okay. Oh, minus one. <laughs> plus one. <laughs> oh, I do have four cities. Oh, I do have four cities. Thank you. I thought I only had three. Uh, yeah, so I didn't count this one. So four more points. Four more points. Wow, I am... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Four more points, yeah, for this city here that has four greeneries around it. All right, let's make sure I got all the victory points. Yeah, no victory points on those ones. No victory points on those ones. So let's see what we got here. One minus one is zero. They even out. One, two, three, four, five, but minus two. So we got three victory points off of our cards. Plus two. 93 points. 93 points. I don't know if that's good. That's the best I've ever played. And I definitely, that's credit to, uh, to all you watching. Those are giving suggestions, especially at the beginning. I feel like I wouldn't have taken as many cards as I did. We got almost all of them played except for one. Um, but yeah, I was the hive mind doing it. But I feel like if it was me by myself, I probably would only be in the 80s. <laughs> Maybe seven, late 70s. Uh, the most I've ever got is 81. Lowest score was like 71 or something. Oh, Adam's best is 90. Yeah, but Adam... That's that's amazing by yourself. Like again, if I was playing by myself, I don't think I'd be at ninety three. Uh, we we're playing with suggestions from the chat. Pla the planet was almost unlivable. Yeah, we we I mean uh, we had extra heat. Like we definitely were okay on the heat. Uh, oh yeah, but we generated just some of that at the end. Never mind. Yeah, we we're close on the heat. And Locator says, I like this solo mode. Some Euros have really tacked on solo modes, but I enjoy this one. Yeah, this one I thought it wasn't going to be as good because of the awards and milestones being pulled out. I was like, man, that's one of the most fun parts, I think, of the multiplayer game is deciding when to buy these and if you should buy them and then trying to steal them from other players and stuff. Uh, so it was kind of sad when I was like, oh, solo mode just rips those out. It's going to be kind of boring. Oh, you only play 14 rounds. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be any good or not. You know, you're not free to kind of like just take as long as you want. But then again, it keeps it as a good solo experience because you're not playing unlimited. It's like a set amount of rounds. I like that. But roughly, the game should start once you get your, your groove down. Uh, you, you should take about the same amount of time to play a game. So you kind of know, hmm, I have so much time. Can I play Terraforming Mars now? Yeah or no, you know? You just know. I don't have to leave it out on the table. You can just play through a game. Um, but I do like it. I, I like it. It's a little thinky, a little mathy. Uh, I do like the kind of card drafting that happens every round. I think that's kind of neat. Um, but yeah, the whole paying for cards kind of, kind of was like, oh, it's annoying that I have to buy these cards, not knowing if I'll even use them. So but it's like part of like the, a skill you build over time. <laughs> Rory says, now you need to play On Mars by Vital Lacerda. Ital Lacerda, uh, heavy Euro, but really good solo. Yeah, all of his games are really heavy, right? That's like his thing. Ugh. Yeah, one of these days I'll get some Lacerda games going. I don't know if I am, I can handle that. I don't know if I'm ready for that. Like, solo, this already is burning my brain a little bit, but not too bad. This actually is not too bad at all. Um, but it's definitely fun. Definitely, if you're going to get this game or have it, get some better player boards. You can get, like, plastic things to attach onto those sheets. But man, I'm already bumping cubes on this even too. But it's still fine. This is way better. Uh, but yeah. MCR would definitely live here. Oh, Rizard was asking a question. Uh, what games do you plan to live stream in the future besides Too Many Bones Trove Chest? Uh, 
well, we have schedule, obviously, then you've seen we have, um, oh yeah, we talked about the beginning. Uh, we're playing through Pandemic Legacy Season 0 right now. We're about to wrap up Lord of the Rings, Journeys of Middle Earth, Shadow Pass. Playing that tomorrow. So those two games are playing on the channel still coming up, technically. Uh, also, we're going to be playing Sword and Sorcery next week. We're going into the uh, Arcane Portal. Uh, we're going to play with that expansion. So to continue our playthrough series of Sword and Sorcery, our campaign. Uh, hopefully I have everything still organized so we can continue with our characters with where they're leveled up. Uh, so that's our plan next week. Uh, we have Cthulhu Death May Die coming to the channel. Nemesis will eventually come to the channel. We have to wait on some painting. Um, this War of Mine, supposedly we're going to play that over the next couple of weeks. Uh, we're being asked to play another uh, game of War of the Ring, uh, which should hopefully happen over the holidays. Mars Congressional Republic from The Expanse. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Bob, I didn't know what you were talking about. I was like, okay, MCR, uh, over my head. Um, yeah, there'll be other games in there too. Uh, yeah, I can't think. I can't think. There's like, yeah, there's a whole pile of games. Too, more Too Many Bones. We're going to play more Too Many Bones on the channel. Uh, we got to play with some of the Splice and Dice Tyrants. Any New Year's Eve marathon planned? Uh, Rory, that's a damn good idea. No, I'm not even... Man, I'm not. I'm in next week. That's as far as I'm thinking, really. I know we're already talking about games to play over the holidays, but yeah. New Year's Eve, that'd be kind of fun. We've played... I remember we played Zombicide one New Year's Eve uh, live on stream. And we didn't really have many viewers at that time. But it was kind of fun saying Happy New Year with the people who were on with us. Um, and a couple of years ago on New Year's Eve, we went to a friend's house, played uh, Fear of Dracula like two times in the same day. It was awesome. I uh, played that till like the wee hours of the morning. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. We'll probably live stream. I don't see why not. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But we're definitely not leaving the house. So yeah, why not? And I figure a lot of you guys probably won't either. So trying to stay safe with the damn pandemics. But we'll see. We'll see. Lots of painting. They all have minis. I know. I know. <laughs> Are you going to do the Haunting of Dale? Yes. Uh, in January, when Kyle is back around. Uh, we will start the Haunting of Dale campaign for Journeys of Middle Earth. Uh, we'll play that too. And right, uh, Razard says, Your YouTube channel made me expand my Too Many Bones collection for Undertow and for other four other expansions. Just paid for those today. It was painful. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not sorry. <laughs> But yeah, uh, Terraforming Mars. I like it. I like it. I do. As much as I hate on the graphic design, still a good game for sure. For sure. Still a good game. Fun stuff. Uh, I like it. Yeah. But yes, a 2.0 version or one thing I talked about before is I was hoping Stronghold Games lost the license at some point to this game and like Fantasy Flight Games picked it up or something or some company that just produces better value components for the money uh because like a little bit better card stock some better quality tiles some nicer player boards yeah some nicer way to track the round or scores or something i don't know other than big white cubes just seems weird um uh, but yeah <laughs> another wallet with fear of participating <laughs> rob made us buy it yeah i know i know i'm sorry but anyways, Terraforming Mars, good game. Uh, you, I don't know. I still, like some of you said, I feel it's overrated. Shouldn't be the number four board game of all time. But it is great. I feel it could, I feel it could have some improvements to it. But again, I need to play with some of the expansions because I think that maybe what is, what is making people love it too is putting some expansions in. Uh, might, might, might take it to the next level. Will they do a deluxe Kickstarter version? Yeah, but it's still from Stronghold. So, like, what is Deluxe? Like, making a normal quality board game? This game is an evergreen for Stronghold. Yeah, true. But Stronghold could get purchased by, like, Asmodee. And then uh, it could lose the game that way. <laughs> so, we'll see. We'll see. But anyways... That's going to be it for the stream. Uh, thank you for all the support. Everyone being here live, playing with us. Thanks to those who donate on Patreon. Uh, links are down in the video description. Thanks to those who have been throwing the PayPal donations lately for the holidays and that kind of stuff. We appreciate it. We 
you've been seeing those come in there's a link down below for that if you don't want to subscribe on patreon but you still want to invest in the channel uh, the money goes into getting new games getting new video equipment eventually we'll get into going to conventions again uh, that's where we spend some of that money getting hotels trips uh, to the conventions to see you guys to pick up more games to meet with publishers that kind of stuff i hope that gets started eventually soon hopefully next year maybe the year after um, but yeah thanks to and for supporting the channel uh, like i said we'll be here tomorrow with a chill stream doing our too many bones trove chest unboxing and putting everything in it just just having a having a chill yeah 20 you're showing up at the end all the time i don't know what this is i don't know what watch you got to get a new watch because your watch is like three hours behind great way to waste three hours yeah <laughs> uh yeah thanks for being here bob i appreciate it but yeah thanks everyone for tuning in uh best way you can support the channel hit the like button on the video and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel thank you so much for being one of the 10.2 thousand that have i appreciate that. that's crazy to say but thank you everyone for helping us reach 10k recently and we're gonna keep rolling i'm gonna keep playing solo playthroughs uh mel's off work next week we'll be playing some daytime sword and sorcery campaign continuing that uh, and some other games so stay tuned to the channel subscribe hit the notification bell so you do not miss when we go live and you can hang out with us here and thanks for watching later if you have any comments uh if you noticed i missed a cube here or a rule question that came up that you have an answer for time stamp it if you're watching this later leave it in the comments down below it doesn't help just me in future playthroughs it helps other people who find these videos who are curious uh learn from my mistakes so we can all help everyone play better including myself uh but yeah <laughs> anyways thanks a lot for watching enjoy the rest of your day and i'll see you again tomorrow bye bye nope didn't work <laughs> awkward why the button didn't work see ya guys